Hello and welcome to the land of Prova. This is a Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition homebrewed adventure. And uh, today we have uh, a wonderful new arc that we're going to be doing today. And uh, we are starting off with the land of Formithlin. Woo! Everything's blinking out on us here. Um, let me turn down the music. It's a little, a little aggressive at the moment. Really bringing in that new art. That's right, man. Yeah, Getting all excited game. already. Just, ah. Are we right. to roll for initiative immediately? <laughs> Yikes. Uh, uh, roll initiative. No. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so, uh, we are now found ourselves in the land of Formithlin. Uh, Formithlin has been taken over. Uh, let's just call it a cult. I think it's like a cult. It's a cult. Um, and everybody in this formerly um, elven population has now been either escaped off into the other lands or they have turned themselves basically into these uh, marble sculptures. Um, and so they are obsessed with perfection. Um, and so now this whole area has been just shifted and changed. Uh, the whole group has come here to figure out how this group of Formithlin people is staying free from um, What's the thing's name? I want to call it the Solus. It's not the Solus. It's Legion. Called... Legion. Thank you very much. Uh, Legion, the big bad guy who's running around in an Elderhold, uh, is not able to possess and take over these people's bodies. So they're trying to figure out why this land or these people are immune to this. And so they found themselves all the way back with an old friend, uh, Elamir, uh, who has since turned himself into a conduit with the trees in order to put a formal magical barrier between the rest of the elven population and the um, marbled elves. Um, and so yes, you guys uh, go have this conversation with Elamir, and basically Elamir um, is only conscious for a few seconds before he has to continue putting more and more of his energy forces. Again, he's surrounded by um, many different uh, healers or just healing him constantly so that he won't uh, die from uh, you know, pouring all of his essence. He will die eventually, um, but they're just doing their best to keep this up because as soon as he's dead, then all the marble elves will run rampant and try to take over the rest of this whole continent if they can. Um, so yeah, so you find yourselves next to Elamir. What do you guys want to do? Oh, I stared into like this, the, to that thing, right? I met the, I met yes. the thing. Yes, he pulled you through oh, the, 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 the roots. Yeah. Forgot about that. That's right. Wait, so Zareth, like, gone? Or, like, is mentally, like, somewhere else? Uh, Elmer, you mean? No. Oh, yeah, it's just mental. It's oh, just, okay. um... I thought you meant, like, you got sucked oh, into no. the roots, <laughs> like, Zareth is oh. gone. Because the roots, I think there was a couple of us that tried. Yeah, I did. Um, I think I was the only one that got all the way there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so some of you guys saw that uh, through his visions that there's not a lot of greenery at all. So he can only show you certain spots in this entire land that's still natural. Um, so yeah, the, the towns are now marble art galleries, basically, right? With these marble people kind of wandering around, almost like uh, someone playing dolls, almost. Like, they are acting out a life, but they don't have any emotions, they don't have any kind of connections, they're not really doing things in a normal way, it's just kind of a, a parody of real life. The lights are on, but no one's home. The lights are on, and nobody is home. Um, so that's what some of you guys saw, and you actually made it all the way through to the... Um, dragon. To the dragon, the very large and intimidating dragon... Um, and you actually also saw a lady who was, um, who turned herself into an owl bear, um, which you would know, even um, druids, they can't turn themselves into owl bears, because uh, owl bears are not technically an animal. They're a abomination. They yeah, are yeah, monstrosity. Monstrosity. Um, so this lady is turning herself into this thing, and so it's kind of a strange thing. You wouldn't know who she is, but the rest of your party might. So yeah, you guys have just come back from this mental journey. What do you guys want to do? I will tell them everything that I saw. Wait, did this girl, did she have like a kind of green dress? I like, I describe Claudia. Mm -hmm. And it is exactly Claudia. 
Exacto. But again, Claudia is scaly. She's not marble. She's completely covered in these scales. Like dark shade and I. Like dark shade and you. So. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, question. Mm -hmm. It's feeding on, like, his life force. The barrier, right? Because he's, like, using himself, kind of. Is there any way that we could find another source? Like, soul coins or something like that? Because more is from hell and would, like, know about, like, soul coins and stuff like that. But things can be powered with souls. Um, so you start asking some of the people that are there nearby. Um, and actually, a familiar face comes up to you. Um, it is... Um, for Taris, she was the uh, research assistant for uh, with Elmer. Oh, okay. And so she comes up and says, uh, "No, it has to be. Um, it's a partnership with the trees. Um, the trees are dying just as much as he is. But as soon as that partnership is over, there's nothing that can take its place. It's a sacrificial partnership." Could could we use something like in conjunction with it to like? continue to power it kind of like life support the best we can do is just keep him alive we've tried to lessen the burden like switch people out but as soon as we do that the entire barrier fails and as soon as it does the stone elves advance and it takes us too long to even bring the barrier back up again That's really intense. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm having a like casual <laughs> really hitting that crescendo research there. question. Right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, so could another person be used, or does it have to be him? I mean, I know that he's gonna die anyways. Mm -hmm. but when he's dead, can another person be put there to keep um, it going? Or like pick a different tree so she says yeah I, we we hope we have some people prepared and starting to prepare themselves for this but to tell the not truth it. we're not even really sure how yes. he's doing this <laughs> <laughs> you're up <Starla. laughs> because i'm the druid no it's because you're the last one of the tree. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> Um, Anyways, it's just a dragon. I'm sure it'll be fine. So that's what you're connected to. That's good to know. Yeah. So, in terms of my curse, mm -hmm. so we know that someone with the curse can't be absorbed by Legion. Because it, tr it tried to absorb Darkshade when I connected to him with the bond mm -hmm. and he couldn't be absorbed. Mm -hmm. And the elves can't be absorbed. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's because, like, the. Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, a way to phrase it. Because something bigger is pulling your strings, essentially, like tug of war. That, like, he can't s absorb something more powerful than him. I think that's why. Anyway, is Dragon that he can't. Owns your soul, so he can't take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He can't absorb something more powerful than him. Than him. What about uh, Pavel? Is his soul? Has he ever been tried? Like, does it anything happen? Oh, uh, actually, yes. He told me about that one time. Which one time? Mordai is Tanner is forgetting. Um, I don't know. It was first when time we, when, when, we fought, <laughs> when we fought Legion the first time, he had already reached capacity. He had already taken the other fighter guy. Someone oh, else, and yes. some soul. So he couldn't take a third person. He had reached his limit. But as soon as he absorbed it, some soul that like changed something. Like mm -hmm. that dip some soul was a a, a body hopper, a body snatcher. Mm -hmm. He possessed people, so that was like it. Yeah. And so as soon as he got a hold of dip some soul's powers, it changed the entire game. Mm -hmm. And now dip some soul can kick out all the different thousands of souls that he doesn't want inside of him. Which is why you ended up with a baker and a, a, you know some kid who's just lost. Like they're useless to, to um, Legion. All he wants is warriors. So then I guess my question is, I mean we won't know, but 
Is it if your soul is contracted to something, or is it if your soul is dedicated to something? Because if he's so dedicated to his god, what does he follow? Lathander? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then can Legion still absorb him even though he has that dedication, or does Lathander prevent it? Because that's who he that is dedicates bet his soul to. Between Lathander and Val, I mm -hmm. think. That's kind of like a, I think a, a, the dragon doesn't is dragons are greedy. It doesn't want yeah. to give up what it's, it's his. So are gods, Hers. though. Theirs. Mm -hmm. That's how gods are, though. They're very arrogant. That's fair. What's theirs is theirs. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, me, I don't know if fine. It, I don't know if it matters because then it's just I mean they're the only ones that are that. But I know you're not that dedicated. I'm what assuming I mean? you're not. But you have mm, other. We're looking at our best friends. I called her last week. I'm more <laughs> devoted to my realm, my kingdom, than my... Yeah, but your soul's already tied to the dragon. Yeah, so you don't and worry about it. hell, and... I'm trying to figure out a solution for... <laughs> everybody else. For everybody, else. everybody else, so we can at least fight him. I mean, I could I could bond us all. Yeah, I'm good on that, though. <laughs> dilute, dilute the connection one more. Let me just yeah, with me yeah. as a filter. Yeah, pass this... <laughs> Disease or this curse around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dark shit gave it to me, and now I'm looking to give yeah, my cooties yeah. to somebody soul else. Soul crippling yeah. disease. Yeah, pass that around. Soul crippling. I'm <laughs> fine. So what if? Well, my so scales are a little itchy, but it's fine. <laughs> so if we make a contract with something else with our soul, then do we get excluded from it? I guess is my question. I don't know how we would know the answer to that, but... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's between what... you and whoever, whatever yeah. god you can find. <laughs> yeah. So you go up to him. <laughs> yeah, you go ask a god. Start praying, and I will call and you then... your dad right now. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a god. Let us hey. know how it works. Hey, that might not be a bad idea. Let's get your daddy issues fixed, and... What are resolved. the chances that I could... make... contact... And like, with your dad? With my dad and make like deals for everyone. Like, so to ensure their safety, essentially. Uh, your dad, last time you talked to him, basically said he just wants to see what's going to happen. Like, he likes mm -hmm. this chaos. And he sees... You get the, get the sense that he sees like the pieces on the, on the chessboard of everything changing. And he wants to see where they fall. And how he can take advantage of those things. Because that's what he does. He takes mm -hmm. advantage of... Best New situations. Souls. That's his, mm -hmm. his MO. His MO is that, yeah, he makes deals with those in the most desperate situations. It's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. how I was born. <laughs> yeah, your dad seems like a real Not just daddy issues. <laughs> Legacy, kind of. Huh? So, what are you guys going to do? We could go to hell. Let's go find some stuff to bind our souls to. We're gonna take a trip to Helsies. I mean, we're not doing anything here, so. Well, yeah, everybody well. better get your winter clothes. We're not gonna. It's not gonna be like another time skip. We're like we're there for five years, but we're there for like a day. <laughs> I think. The, I think whoever the oh, arch devil controls that, because when we went randomly and we randomly jumped out, like a week had passed, right? But when Asmodeus sent us away, it was immediate, as if like no time has passed. Like the same, the time we spent in hell was the same. Oh yeah, you're talking about seeing the uh, the angel of light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the angel of light messes with everybody. Like he can do whatever he wants. So do I think my father would have that same kind of like? Never seen him do that. It's possible. We might miss time on this plane. Again. Again. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'm missing so Remember, many years. I'm just gonna say, everybody here's all gonna be fucking dead, okay? <laughs> Elmer will not last a week. And as soon as that wakes up, hopefully they can find someone to replace him and do what he's doing as good as he's doing Sounds it. Sounds pretty desperate. So maybe we can have Elmer talk to your dad? Back pocket? Uh, uh, we go kill this fucking dragon. <laughs> Um, because guess what? I killed one dragon already. Yes, it was a baby dragon, but it's still an ice dragon. She was an adult died. dragon. We killed that adult Anyways, white dragon. <laughs> we should go kill that bitch. Maybe she has some good loot. And yeah, I'm we did kind of get scammed on that last I, dragon. I kind of want to make, you know, cool dragon armor from somebody. <laughs> All right. 
What um, is the consensus? What the hell? So... I don't know. Let's if do, we're gonna go do, fight no. a dragon, then we need to make some better preparations. Yes. Okay, let's just do like a couple of boats. This hand has a boat. This hand has a boat. Now they're switching back and forth. <laughs> What which, I don't even know what you're doing. What, 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 what are you doing? I'm sorry, so Explain hard. your rules. I totally lost the plot. Okay, here's hold on. Boat, here's boat. This which hand one? is high. This hand is also high. Now, decide on which hand. It's higher. It's higher. Did you put a rock in there? I don't even know. How do you know what, what switch? Do you have a note? You didn't put anything in there. You're just deciding arbitrarily which one of that is. Exactly. It's the pick one. They both have air. Which idea? This one. Break the dragon, let's go. Well, what was the other one? Oh, dragon as well! Oh, okay. Wow. It's, it's like magic. Okay, but if we're gonna do this, I, we need to make some preparations. Yeah. We can't just go in there all willy nilly. I mean, we, yeah, we're kind of. We hurt. need to, like. I might need to heal. You know, yeah, you know. coordinate with each other a little bit. Like, I've I've only fought with you guys once, so I don't really know, like, yeah, how what do your you guys, guys do? What are you useful with? Where's your area of expertise? I know you should. I try and do like yeah. support. You, so like, what should do I you buff? Hit anything? Um, in theory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I had been awake for so many hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah there was yeah, yeah. a screaming baby, yeah, yeah, and yeah. That is cut true. me a little bit of slack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she can't hit anything with her. Butt, so <laughs> <that's> <laughs> I can hit something. Do you want to find out? I'll show you. We'll get back to that in a second. And you have an axe. You also can't hit anything with your axe. But I can bite people. And she still she does. She's bite. True. Yeah, and she, I can claw people. She's in. And, and I can I did kill one, one of those giants. Yeah, she's with in. the, the yeah. thing from her ass. Just went whoosh, right through him. What? Are you talking about my tail? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> so, you know A great way to describe a tail. Is the word tail. <laughs> as, as a druid, your ass. <laughs> yeah. We knew what you meant, sweetheart. It's fine. Yeah. I got you. It's okay. Okay, so you shoot things, you bite things, and hit things with an axe. I'm sneaky. Sneaky. I can. I can. We blow shit to up. People. But does I? I'm not. I'm not trying to. Uh, I don't think sneaky's gonna work on a dragon. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Why are you pulling her? Is it because she's small? No, no, no. I take offense to that. If we're gonna go fight a dragon, we can't just go in all willy nilly like that. Yeah, I, I agree with Zara. This is a little that. different. We can't go in. I also can't dick go swinging. to the front. You gotta have a little more finesse than that. Me and her, then we can go in and dick swinging. <laughs> I think probably tail swinging. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. It's better. You never do that. Axe swinging. Yeah. Your golden dick is immaculate. Thanks. It's tight. Great. So, uh, Batiris actually hears you guys talking about going in, and uh, so she comes up closer to you and says, uh, "You are you're planning to to go into Fort Mifflin?" Yeah. Do you have any it's fighters you could spare? <coughs> Maybe keep some of the elves off of us while we try and deal with the dragon. What a healer! We don't a have. You can sell? We don't have anybody. Everybody was trying to withstand the the onslaught and. They either died or they were returned. Like, all we have left are, like, non-combatants and elderly and... Has anyone researched how to remove the curse? Here's what we know. We know that there's a curse on the land, and as soon as you get onto that land, that curse is going to compound itself on you. Which means... The longer you're there, the longer, the more chances you will have of it actually taking control, and you're going to be just like them. Okay. Um, we also Spoiler. know that um, some of them, when they attack, can actually make that more a forceful thing. They can actually force you into being more like them quicker. They can flick. It starts with petrification. And so we have some formulas here, but we don't have much left. But if you're going to go past this thing, we can give you that. We can give you some of the the, the petrification. Um, Do you animals. also have a recipe for it? I can use alchemy supplies, and I have a bunch of potion ingredients that we bought. 
that are in the bag of holding, maybe I can... Well, the places that we get that stuff from is actually was in Formithlin, and now it's all stone. So we don't have anything left, really. All our supplies are gone. Like, all we have is these few much of potions. That's it. Well, we're definitely going to die. So... Do we long rest? So she takes you actually and, and um, leads you down to another place to rest. Uh, last time you spent the night in the tree, um, now you see that a lot of those tree homes are gone. It's just regular trees now that are basically here. Um, and so they find a little, little nook between some roots and say, all right, here's, here's where you guys can rest. It's not the best accommodations, but if you're going to go in, you're going to need all the rest that you can get. Okay, well, I'm going to take... 12 hours to prepare something and then rest. Oh. What are you preparing? Simulacrum. Ah. Okay. I've been meaning to do it ever since I joined and I just have it. <laughs> All right. So everybody's going to do a long rest? Yeah. All right. Let's see if there's anything I can. Nope, just aid for everyone. Uh, when everybody wakes up in the morning, Pavel, of course, will give his inspiring speech um, all about how we're going to do this. We're going to save our friends. We don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to save uh, Claudia, our longtime uh, member who seems to be under some kind of control. And we're going to be able to save uh, Mordai from all the stupid stuff that he gets himself into. And uh, we're going to... And he just gives this great inspiring speech. And therefore, everybody gets... I don't know how he does it. Where is that inspiring speech? I think it's 21 for Val. It's like your level and your charisma modifier. What was it last time? Inspiring speech. And all of your guys' point maximum increased by uh, 35. 35? Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good number. Oh, that's that's for eight. Sorry, not the ten. Ah, oh, there it is. Inspiring leader. Uh, so ten minutes of talking to you guys, and then gains twenty-one temporary hit points. So twenty-one temporary hit points for everybody. In addition to the eight. All right. Must has got a lot of stuff on his list. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um. All right, so yeah, you uh, you wake up in the morning. Um, uh, Zirup is asleep at the moment because he's been up all night working on a simulacrum. Um, you only need four hours, though. Yeah. Um, when you guys wake up, there's um, a bag uh, next to Bavel, and he kind of opens it up and looks through it. And he says, "Okay, we have uh, we have six potions. Okay, six potions to help us." With petrification. Perfect. We're not going to need any of them. We're going to be able to go in there and we're going to be able to do it right. We're going to go smart. Yeah, absolutely. Hold on. Let me think for a minute about <laughs> what I want to prepare or what I want to take to school today. Um, not Paul. Anybody else doing anything else? Um, when we get ready to go, I can I can do pass without trace on the whole party, but that only lasts for an hour and it's concentration. So. <clears throat> so uh, Viteris comes up one more time to uh, talk to you all, and uh, she says, I'm, "When you guys were sleeping, I went and talked to a few different people. Um, it looks like the, your size of who you are." is going to largely determine how quickly this thing takes root into you, your infection. So, if you are a small person, <laughs> um, if there's a way that they can become a little bit larger, a little bit more mass, um, it'll, it'll, uh... Disrespect, for real. It's racist, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I have a happily in them. Mm-hmm. So, but that also means if you... Average party height went down by like 
three feet. Literally. <laughs> if you do any, everything. if you do any spells to yourselves and you make yourself into something small, that means that it's going to be a lot harder to resist. And it's less mass for it to take over who you are. So spells or uh, transmutations, things like that, just be very careful about making yourself smaller. What if we aren't making contact with the ground? Is the ground cursed, or is the air above it also cursed? Um, we're not really sure. Um, it seems like it's just the whole entire area. Like the, the air itself, the earth, everything. It just permeates this radiation, as it were. Any other questions that I can help you with before you uh, go on your suicide mission? Uh, any information about the dragon itself? How the elves fight other than petrifying? <coughs> what dragon? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a dragon curse. There's like a big white marbly dragon. Zareth saw in the vision. You saw a dragon in your visions? I'm sleepy. Oh, yeah, he's sleepy. <laughs> he must be mistaken. We haven't seen any dragon whatsoever. All we've seen is the other elves running around with Formithlin. Great. The marble elves. That's what we were calling them. If there is a dragon. Me, Tanner? No. Anything else? Or are you heading out? Uh, Lavelle well, says, hey, we got Any health potions, anything else? We don't have anything else. Damn, okay. Well, we're going to die. But it's we're going right. to die. We we're going to die. We have, we have problems. You guys are ready to go. I'm just sleeping. <laughs> you guys are waiting I'll, for me. I'll, um, I'm going to, while Zareth is asleep, I'll just go over and I'm gonna twin spell uh, Death Ward. So if you drop to zero. Oh, thank you. It'll keep you for. Mm -hmm. And then I'll also cast it myself. Fourth level. That was a good spell to cast. So for my uh, shorter than average. Um, players, you're going to be using a d10, and all my uh, large, not large, medium-sized creatures, you're going to be using a d12 um, for your rolls to see how well you survive um, the elements as they were. Um, there'll be numbers to tick, and when you reach a certain number, Bad things will happen. He said with a smile. So we want low. Uh, <coughs> yes, you want low numbers. Good, great. But it only activates if you hit a certain number that I know. Oh, shit. So the difficulty is going to change based on what I roll. So it's going to be like a match roll. So the closer you are to my number, the worse. The worse it gets. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Excellent. Yep. Um, so Mavell leads you all the way to um, uh, what looked like a bridge at one point. Um, the bridge is now completely gone, and you see uh, almost like a river between your land of all the trees and the other side that is just complete and utter stonework. It's all marble. The ground itself is marble. Um, no trees, no bushes, no flowers, nothing. Um, everything is, for the most part, flat. Uh, and where there are trees, there are marble trees. Where there are bushes, there are marble bushes. Flowers, marble flowers. Um, uh, Vateris looks at you one last time. She kind of had some tears in her eyes and she says, if there's any way that you can save the rest of our people here the better but I don't know what's going to happen I don't think anything can stop this well that's what they said about the elder brain and we killed it 
And the other elder brain was in the dragon, so. All right. I wish Have you faith the, in us. I wish you the best of luck. Um, you studied with me. <laughs> you know I mean business. So it kind of gives Where you Where I tries to, like, be confident and, like, <laughs> I can do this, you know, like, dreading going right now, but is, like, trying to be, like, it's fine. We're going. <laughs> uh, as you say this, you get up to the water, at which point um, Viteris looks up towards the tree where Elamir is at, uh, and you hear her speaking in Elvish up to the tree. Um, and basically she's just saying, Elamir, allow that my, my friends to pass. They're ready to, to, to do this. Um, we'll give it to the count of ten. And so she says, looks back at you guys and says, when I say go, you need to just haul butt across this river um, and get to the other land. You guys ready? Can... Yeah... I was gonna use shape water to freeze the path. Oh no, it's not water. It's all magic. Oh. Okay. It's all. It looks like water, but it's all magic. Um, and she looks at you and says, "Okay." <sighs> she gives Elmer the signal and tells you guys, "Run!" Everybody, do dexterity saving throws. Oh. Oh jeez. <clears throat> Am I within five feet of Pavel? Ten feet of <laughs> Pavel? <laughs> Everybody at the moment is within five feet of Pavel. So we love that for us. Mm -hmm. Plus five. Plus five to your rolls. D20. Mm -hmm. Dex with Pavel's bonus, 22. Excellent. So you're going to make the first part of the run good. 27, fantastic. 17. 17, making it. 28. 28. 30, Excellent. Everybody just starts taking off. And as soon as the water parts, uh, it's almost as if this hot wind from the other side that was being contained from the other side hits everybody and there's almost like a breath of air that you guys take that's almost like just seems hot um, I'm gonna wild shape into uh, air, air elemental please okay um, another dexterity saving throw um, you're halfway through the through the river I also need for you to do another check oh, no. you got the oh, I rolled a little less 21 with Pavel 25 stars. good 23. 23? No, 28 again. 28? 12. 12. Uh, you start running, and as you're running, you actually notice that he's acting a little funny. Uh, I need you to do a... Oh, God. Uh, immediate. Intelligence saving throw. With Pavel? With Pavel next to you. Okay, that's not that good. 12 plus 5, 17... 17. Um, you're noticing that the, the arm that he had that has the tattoo, or not the tattoo, the, the scales, mm -hmm. uh, is glowing through his clothes. Uh, and it kind of stops you a little bit as you're running. Um, and then you look behind, you can start seeing the water, the magic water, starting to fill up behind you. Um, and as you run, it starts to burn the back of your, your tail as you keep running. You only take... Uh, You only take one uh, burning damage, uh, fire damage. Uh, but you're able to make it across, and now everybody is on this completely solid marble land on the opposite side. Am I still glowing? You are. You're very much glowing, a lot. Hey, it's... you're glowing. Um, uh, what is that? Oh, it's, cursed. it's a curse. It comes from these lands. Mm. How f here I have my containment circle around it. How far is it still within my circle? Your containment circle, as soon as you pass through, is gone. Oh, shit. Completely oh. and utterly. It's not moving at the moment, but you can feel it. It almost feels like there's like a worm or something underneath your skin. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can I try and... Do <coughs> Zareth, can you help me do another one? Yeah, I'll help you out. I want to keep this as like suppressed as possible, and I'll do. I'll see if I can do a better one. Mm -hmm. We can do a better one this time. Okay. I've been I've been doing it. All right. Quite a bit. I um, feel like because I contained dark shades and now mine. So the two of you guys are gonna help each other do this. So yeah, yeah. do an Arcana check, but do it with advantage.
Can I guidance myself? Yes, you may. Got it. Thirteen plus six, nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, you start to um, put the symbols on yourself, um, and as you do, you see them undoing as you keep writing. Like they're actively being pulled away as you are working on them. Wow. I'm gonna pull up my axe. Like, well, you want me to cut it off? <laughs> Say goodbye to your arm, buddy. If you, yeah. Well, let's make sure the scales aren't anywhere else in your body. Yeah. Can, make can we? You can do a quick check. All right, history or not history? Uh, history. History. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember what you look like? I know I've been with a, a few, but history. Um, mist- uh, um, uh, can I do an medicine. investigation check on his body? Oh, medicine. That's all you. That's someone else. I didn't mean. Medicine. Oh, I'm, oh you, you got the right one. Uh, can I do oh, perception? Yeah. <laughs> you can do perception on yourself, but someone else is going to have to do medicine on you. Okay. Who wants to check them? I only him? have a plus two. I'll, I only I'll have do. plus two. Sure, I'll do it. I have a plus ten. Somebody well, there you go. Me. There oh. is here. Can I do it as an air elemental? Yeah. Oh, yeah. tits. <laughs> perception. Yeah, you're so smart. Yeah, you keep all your mental And I can faculties. speak to elementals. I have wind speaker. Mm-hmm. Perception for me is 24. 24. Um, so you're looking over your, your body and you're like, yeah, I, I seem fine. I seem... Maybe on my tail. I don't feel like anything's wrong. Everything looks pretty good. And you do a check on him? Yeah, I got 26. 26. Uh, your first note when you look at him is like, wow, he's like getting cut. Like you're like, like those abs are like really like coming together. And you're, as a wind element, so you go and you start like kind of like just touch him. And, and you realize his abs are not strong. They are... Solid. I'm solid. You're turning into a. You're turning into stone. Yeah, marble. Can I come and like try to knock on it? Um, it still moves around a little bit, but like it's a it's a it's a solid. Uh, you know, like like the um, that weird mystical whatever kind of goo you can make that's a solid oh, and a liquid. Oh, oh like. Like, yeah, that stuff. When you grab it and you squeeze it, it makes it hard, but it's not hard, hard. Mm-hmm. But it's definitely more solid. That's what it feels like when you're touching it. It's like, you can move things around a little bit in there, but like, it's pretty. It's a non-Newtonian There you go. That's what you are now. at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can cut off the arm, but. You want me to? It's a good thing we didn't, I guess. <clears throat> We still can. I still can. I can still do it if you want. <laughs> with, no. She said with the gleam and excitement in her eyes. <laughs> right. I can no, totally I do the arm. I know how we can decide. Okay, so I have one option here, one option here. <laughs> Hit the option. <laughs> I cut off the arm. <laughs> uh, we're already going into this fight down. Mm-hmm. I don't want to make things worse. Yeah. Let's keep the arm for now. I, I was in for it. I tried. I just really think you look cool with one arm. Yeah, you're like, like, cool. you like a hook or something. Yeah. Attach your stuff. All right, I know I'm like, I was a pirate. Past tense. Yeah. We're trying to be over that phase of my life. There's mm-hmm. no such thing as a former pirate. Um, everybody do a perception check. Oh. Ooh, Tanner, I may never give this dice back. Oh, I didn't pass. 17 plus 8. Oh. 25. Uh, 25, you see it? 22. You see it? 8. Nope. 20, 30. 30, 20. You see it as well. Um, so the three of you guys see <coughs> that there is movement. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to see in this area because it's all flat. Like a building floor level flat. Um, and so you'd guess probably maybe a mile <coughs> down the road you see some people walking around over there, um, but their skin is glistening in the sun. Um, I need you to do a d10 roll for me, please. Yeah. Immediately a, a, a two. A two, good. Um, 
as you're uh, examining um, Mordai over here um, in air elemental form, you start feeling as though like like sandpaper is like hitting you. It's not hey. just wind. Yeah. Ugh, Starlet, step away. What are you here? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just air. Yeah, but you're like dusty. Can I like look at? Yeah, and you're crusty. Dang, I wouldn't take that disrespect. And she like scoots over. Well, Doing she, that? she just like glides over a little bit. Uh huh. But you can see like specks of stuff inside the the. Ooh, Starlight, I don't think you should be. Oh, you have less of a body right now. Why? Are you trying to think of, like a STD or something? Yeah, no, I think it. the the land is trying to curse you, and you have less mass because you're air. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then she just turns back to regular. <laughs> Uh, as soon as you do, uh, you realize that your skin now feels, uh, like glitter. Like you have a, like, put your glitter in your face. You have like that little bit of speckle, a little bit in your skin. Oh, this is a fucking vibe, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. It's shiny. Ooh, cursed. <laughs> Yay. Everybody's cursed. We've only been here five seconds and we've already, uh, <laughs> gotten two on the way. Yay. Everybody else so far doesn't feel any kind of ill effects just yet. What do you guys want to do? You do see somewhat of a village slash settlement ahead of you. I think we should stealthily approach. Yeah. Question. Can we, before we would have left the village, could I have identified the potions to see what they do, to, what the effects of them are? Oh, the potions that they gave you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, um, you pour it on the people. It's not an ingestible thing. Mm -hmm. um, and when it pours over them, it breaks up the uh, petrification and removes it, almost like washes it away. Okay. So don't use these until you're like in it. You're yeah. like close. When you're in it, you're that's the close, time. This close to it, then you use it. You gotta take a bath in this thing. Yeah. All right. Well, Someone had passed without a trace, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're cast it on yeah. the whole party. You should go check it out. By myself? <laughs> I'll fly with you on my broom. I mean, you I can, can ride, cast you can it on the whole, me. it's the whole party. I mean, <clears throat> he doesn't need it, he's so stealthy. He's always stop picking on the little fucking people. Oh, I, was, <laughs> I was saying because she's We're so sensitive. sneaky. I was offering her I was a compliment. I was like, you're so good, you're not going to get caught. That's what I was going for there. That was what I was going for. But we all wouldn't get caught. And then I wouldn't be on my own if something went sideways. But then if we do get caught, you I'm would just sneaky. be on your own if we go sideways. Well, Pavel has disadvantage on uh, stealth. You no, know, so. he has the boots of elven kind, <gasps> so he, he has no... It right? zeroes it's, out? Yeah, still plus boots zero. Boots of elven kind? He still has oh, plus zero, plus zero. Though, so okay. it's just kind of however the dice <laughs> feel. Man. That. And this gives a plus ten to stealth. Yeah. And oh, can't be fantastic. Tracked. It can't be tracked except by magical means. And I give Pavel guidance. <laughs> That's gonna come in handy. All right, so everybody's gonna go. Roll for stealth. Yeah. Is... Oh, and it's a plus what for? <laughs> think ten. Ten. 20. Okay. It's a wolf. Oh, and I get. Uh, oh, I also never rolled a natural twenty. Rolled a nat. Uh, Pavel does his very best. He gets fifteen. <laughs> I also <laughs> I love clink, oh, yeah. clink. Clink. With 25. my D4. With the D4, I rolled a oh, three. No. Sorry, Pavel. Wow. You leave, and then you're you're suffering with my rolls. Um, yeah, you rolled a three. With passed out a trace and a natural twenty. Thirty-two. Holy cow. With a natural twenty. Uh, natural twenty. Natural twenties. I, you I got twenty-five. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Somebody's bad stuff is rubbing off on you. Uh oh. <laughs> um. So. Nineteen. Nineteen. Still very good. So Pavel is definitely clink, 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 and he's like, uh, <coughs> kind of trying to hold himself together as he's running through. Um, so yeah, so you do see the town up ahead of you again. It's a mile away. Um, what is your plan of attack? What are you guys gonna do? What are what are we even? What are they? It's just a village, right? Yeah. Hmm. 
Are we assuming it's just bad and we just go but in? They're, uh, you know, I say we, guns blazing. I say we don't go in hot. I feel like we should Should we do like some espionage? Kind of, yeah, have a look about. Sneak around in there. Yeah. I put 20 to 1 odds that it goes bad, though. <laughs> I... Uh, and if we do do this and we get paid, you're not getting anything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Starla, I feel like our friendship's waning ever since you got another small person here. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you guys start getting closer to the village, um, are you guys. I'm assuming you're staying away from the uh, main pathway, the main road. Um, and so you guys start sneaking around, and as you get to this spot, uh, basically in the corner there where the, the vegetables are growing, um, the vegetables are growing. But they're not alive. They are all just stone jokes of vegetables. He'd probably be in the front. He'd definitely be in the front. Oh, yes. Loud and in the front, for Loud sure. Loud and proud. Loud and proud. Like um, <laughs> everybody go and do a perception check for me. Like whenever he gets caught being not sneaky, it's just because he's talking. He's blabbering about the band. Oh my gosh. 22. 22. Good Going around the room. 13. 13. You don't see it, you do. 18. 18, yes. 20. Yep. Natural or not natural. 12? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, I'm not good at looking at this It is a very strange sight that everybody sees. Um, everybody, it looks like a normal town. It looks like the people are just normally going about their business. The the buildings themselves look as though they have always looked. They're kind of like quaint, nice, but everything has been chiseled into stone, um, into marble specifically. Um, but there's someone out in, in the field, and they're looks like they're practicing, you know, harvesting vegetables. They're not actually harvesting anything. They're just kind of running their rake around the uh, the marbled ground. They're hoeing around. They're hoeing around. Yeah. They're hoeing around. So I can detect thoughts. Can okay. I use that on an unwilling? I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can like should read I, surface thoughts. Should I try something? to read one of their minds to see if maybe they're thinking anything? Yeah. Let's see if it's. Uh, roll a d20, and just do a raw d20. Let's see how much you get here. Eight. Eight. Um, you hear multiple voices in one head. Oh. Um, and it's kind of hard to distinguish between them. Uh, one of them sounds as though it's like a prayer. And the other one, you're not really sure what it's saying. But you can definitely tell there's at least two voices conflicting in this one person's mind. Okay. But I can't really, like, tell what they're saying. Just, like, that I know that someone's kind of praying, and then there's just, like, a lot of yeah. jabber-jabber. They're just praying. He's praying, and the words that you catch are, um, moon god. Okay. Um, you also pick up the words, um, uh, perfection. Mm. And... You hear the other voice that's kind of like almost angry speaking about um, it's not enough. It needs to be more perfect. It needs to be better. And they're not living up to the expectation that he wants. So there's an angry god or perfectionist god, OCD god. Yeah. White dragon. Otherwise, white dragon. Mm hmm. All right, what do you guys want to do? Can we just go around? Yeah, I guess we... I don't see a point in... I'd say when... So, speaking of ignoring problems. So back when I first joined the group who we were in for Mythland, and they had just mm -hmm. uncovered this tomb mm -hmm. that was guarded by, like, some undead satyrs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've seen a lot of back. red flags that you just kind of barrel through. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They just left. They just took off. Yeah. We had other things to do. <laughs> mm hmm No judging. Brooke. That was Brooke. Uh, 
So they had just uncovered that tomb and killed the we killed those spirits. And then they came back and they just like kept coming back and then we left. Mm -hmm. And then we did there was like time that passed because we were in hell. Yeah. It was kind of confusing. Mm -hmm. I've lost a lot of time. Like mm -hmm. at least ten plus years of Mordai's life is like lost to those weird bits of interplanar travel. Well, it's a bad way to look at it, Mordai. You gain ten years. <sighs> yeah. It's fair. Yeah, so what do you guys want to do? Go through the town? You wanna to go say hi to the people? Do you wanna like sneak around? Would I know or... anyone that would have lived in this area while I was living in Fun? Um not this area specifically. Um, further up, there's like another town or two that you remember. That's before you get to the main castle. Okay. Maybe we can like skirt the edge of the town and like peek into some windows on our way through. See if there's anybody hiding around that's normal stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, any non-stuffed <clears throat> individuals. Uh, actually, I forgot to let you know. So most of the people that are running around, and I'm saying most, are not wearing very many clothes. So they're covering anything that's embarrassing, of course, but they are very proud of the way that they look. And so they, they look like, uh, if you go to the museum, they look like the statues with like a, like a sash across their waist or oh, something. Oh, like very Greek. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very Greek. Um, like so just, a, just a sheet. Yeah. It's just a full on toga party. Yeah. There you toga. go. Yeah. But even a toga would be too much. It's, just, it's hiding short. too much. Very short togas. Uh, they are very, very Not proud. About anything. Yeah. There's nothing to be ashamed about with them. They have the perfect bodies and the perfect <coughs> eyes and everything else. Um, and they move very gracefully as well. Um, go ahead and do another stealth check for me as you're going to go up and take a look through one of the windows. All of us? Are we all? No, that's the question. I want to go. I'm not going. I'll go with I'm you. <laughs> I'm already on the other side of town waiting for you guys. I want to support our new member. That's uh, 29. 29. Uh, so you sneak up to one of the windows and you look through, um, and you actually see um, a child actually inside of a crib, and the child is completely stone as well. Um, but you see it, and it's yeah. playing with a toy. But it's playing with a toy like you would imagine someone being told to play with this toy, and they knew what they were doing. Right. And they're not really entertained. They're not really, but they're doing the motions, um, which is very odd and creepy. Um, yeah. Um, there's somebody else in the room as well, and you see them cleaning and dusting and doing some Same other things. Same thing, just wrote. Mm -hmm. And you got a uh, 20... 29. 29. Do a perception check for me as well. Do it with advantage. I got a 25 for my stealth. We still passed out a trace. Yeah. Okay, 25 for my stealth. Yeah, so you're right here, you see the same things. Uh, roll a perception as well. 18. 18? There we go. Kidnapping someone. <laughs> and what did more did I get? You wanna? Can I guidance myself? No. Uh, then uh, 14. 14. So you don't see it and you do. Um, as the lady in this house is cleaning and doing some dusting, she actually lifts up kind of high to dust something high. And you see that the toga, the very small strip that's across her back, she lifts up and reaches and you see that her skin right behind it is the normal color of skin. Like she's hiding it. And then she reaches down again and it disappears because it's behind the, the cloak that she's wearing. So she's mostly... But not all the way. But not all the way. Okay, so I kind of... Um, I, I start uh, quietly gesticulating. Um, I'm pointing into... I'm crouched below the window and I'm like pointing into the window, into the window and I'm like, um, <laughs> there's a lady... And, and she's not all stone yet. She's like, kind of, she has skin still. She's in there. Um, should we try and talk to her? <laughs> you and I just sitting under this her. window. <laughs> not, um, 
I mean... Like, I mean, I think I'm charming. <laughs> I know I'm not. <coughs> Good. Oh, wait. I look at this... Can I see Zareth? I'll no. cast message. Oh. We're gone. Yeah, we left. All three of us are gone. Yeah. You left? We just went, we just we went just, to investigate a little we're, further down. Yeah, we're we... perusing the other aisles. <laughs> I, t I turn to look for my ally, and there is no one there, and it's just you and me. Yeah, what are you guys going to do? You're going to do it by I mean, yourselves. Let's go. Let's talk to her. Do you want to go in <laughs> through the <laughs> Do we go to the door? Yeah, I'll door? sneak in through the window. Okay. okay. All right, yeah. I'll they have follow. follow. They're not. Them. They're not yeah. passing without a trace anymore. But we still are. That's okay. Fine. They don't need it. Yeah. They don't need it. I actually, <laughs> I do. So, um, <laughs> your air. You're keeping your your previous uh, stealth skills. You end up creeping the door open, which actually slides way easier than it looks like it should because it's, it's all marble. marble. So right. it just shh, just nice so smooth. WD forty. Yeah, no WD forty at all. It's a little heavier than normal. Um, but you manage to get it up. It's just a window uh, pane, right? And you slide in. Um, you're sliding in close to where the baby is, um, but you do not slide in all the way to or uh, to the door. The other door is on the opposite side of you. Okay. Um, while we're doing that, we're going to pause you two, okay. and we're going to come to the three of you. I need you guys to do a um, perception check with advantage. I'll give you guidance too. Yeah, you're a, you're a perceptive you person. Yeah. And they have power, mm -hmm. right? Yes. No, I thought you had power. Mm -hmm. Pavel, we were, we're sneaking. Uh, Actually, Pavel wouldn't have left you yeah, because Pavel wouldn't leave them. he is not stealthy whatsoever, and so he's just going to stay somewhat close to you. He should um, stay outside. The house. Yeah, he's outside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But he's okay. but he's not. That's he's fine. keeping a close eye on you guys. <laughs> so perception checks going around with advantage. Uh, 19. 19, you see it? Mm, I got 11. 11. Ooh, you don't see it. 22. 22, you see it. Um, let me get a map really quickly. Before I haven't noticed anything so far. I've got a head advantage because I had a natural one. That's too big. Give me one moment. I'm pulling up a map. This thing is incredible. Because you go places that I wasn't expecting. I Ah. I'm glad I'm glad it's working for you, Chen Yongli. And you're not getting back, by the way. Um, so the two of you um, see something very clearly and easily. It is, at first you think it's like a giant. Like, same like kind of giants that you guys saw when you were doing before, but this one, again, is made of complete marble. And as it turns around, you realize that these are... Um, you would know what they were. Um, they're more um, Gundam thingies, right? So, like suits of armor that someone else is inside of. Um, and so, go ahead and get this guy. And oh. this guy. <coughs> wow. And just really, place them on the other side I really, there. I wanted it to be the sisters. But oh, no. No, it's not the sisters. The, the triplets. I love the triplets. Mm -hmm. Um, so just have those guys ready, because they're, they're going to come out. And you see them walking around, and they have very, very large swords, and you can tell that these are more like guards-looking things. And so you're looking at each other, and you're seeing this, these two kind of walking around out there. Are you guys going to do anything? Oh, please. Only two, you said, right? Only two. They look scary. <laughs> we got it. We got, got this. Um, we should like not talk to them. <laughs> you should stay away from. Can I try reading their minds? Detecting, detecting their thoughts. Um. Or wait, no, I can only do that once every so often. Huh? Once per long rest, probably. Yeah. So while you guys are now staring at these two large things, and you guys are probably only maybe... Is there like a shop nearby? Uh, not really. Oh, it's like the suburbs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is like 
Can we? Pokey Town's on the side. Let's walk in somebody's house. Yeah. 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 We're just gonna walk to a random house and start walking. Fast walking in. Right. And you're just gonna jump into some dude, some person's house? Yeah. If there's if there's somebody in there, we're gonna silence them, right? Yeah. Okay. What wow. Is happening? This is going to I be leave interesting. For a minute. <laughs> I'm just along for the So we're cutting oh with the two God. of you guys where you're at for a, or three of you guys. We're breaking we're back to the two of you guys. Oh my God. This is Why going to be that? very <laughs> interesting and very difficult to DM. Thank you all for this <laughs> lovely <laughs> moment. Um, it's not our fault. There you go. So exactly. You guys first. <laughs> forget it. Um, so you get into the room. The lady is still cleaning. The baby is still playing with the toy. Um, the door is off to the side. Um, what are you guys gonna do? Um, I'm rolling under the crib. Okay, so underneath everything? Yeah. Alright. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm not that stealthy. You're by yourself. I'm just alone in the room now. Um... I don't know, I... I don't... I go back out the window. You jump back out the window? You went back out the window? Uh, there's uh, there's no way to be so like that's be fine. stealthy in the so room. Like, I um I'll <laughs> I'll like army crawl across the floor behind this lady's back okay. toward the front door. Okay. And then is the door open or closed? Door is open. Okay, great. So I'm gonna stand up and um and quietly close the door and just let it latch behind me with some noise so that she can hear it. Oh. And I'll as I do that I'll go. Hi, neighbor! <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys, the two of you guys, and Pavel is outside. Um, put Pavel uh, basically where the fire is in the very far corner. Okay, Pavel, you. That's not me. The hammer is the one next to the fire. Right here? Yep. Over there? Um, okay. He's not up in that thing, but he's about yeah, that far me. away. Where's the grid? Oh, and I need to put the. Um, Where's what? A the grid the on grid. this. Well, actually, I'm by the front door now. Yep. And so place your mini where you're at, because that house is what you guys are in. Okay. And just for fun, let's go ahead and have you guys put yourselves in the small house. <laughs> Which one are you? Um, me, me. Next to it. Which one are you? The little one? No. Oh, so we didn't make that part. We're lower than the next house over. <laughs> no, you guys are like oh, really? 100 feet away. Oh, okay. And are these guys just wandering is the this town? The... Is this the window where Yeah, I was? and then the big things are going to be over on this side we're towards here. me. Maybe here. And we're gonna I jumped ahead. out this window and I'm hiding, okay. right? And we're going to put this lady um, in your room where the light is. Here? Um, no, the, the other, other light. The other one. Right, right there. Perfect. All righty. So, um, <coughs> as you turn around and you say hello, um, the, the mother... That you would assume is the mother spins and looks at you. <laughs> Hi, um, I was wondering if I could borrow a cup of sugar. Uh, she starts to walk towards you. Um, and she's gaining speed. Can I do a perception on her or an insight? I guess. Uh, like, what's her? What's her? Vibe? She has zero emotions. She has zero facial expressions. Um. Instead of doing an insight check, do a perception check. I'm watching through the window. Um, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Uh, you're trying to communicate with this lady. You're doing your very best. Um, okay. However, nothing is registering. And then you're noticing that there is something crawling out of her hand and turning itself into a thin, long blade. As she picks up more speed, and she's right in front of you now. And she takes an attack. So I need for everybody to roll for initiative. Even you guys. That in the app, right? Yep. Huh? I don't know if I should do my thing anymore. This is a cool little spell to get us out of the jam, but. Okay. So do I see these guys? The big guys? No, the these three yahoos. They're not really at that house. They're farther away. Yeah, they're away. way further away. Mm -hmm. I don't know why D&D Beyond now is not 
and making it easy. Got a dirty 20. Got a 9. Uh, Nova, what'd you get on your initiative? There we go. No. Starla got 13. No, no. Morda, what'd you get? 9. And you get advantage, Barbarian. Just hit the initiative. Put your advantage so you can get Great that your die landed right on the initiative button, though. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so the 9. Oh. Excellent. And I'm going to roll initiatives on these sides. Oh, wonderful. Um, so they together. get to go first. Um, uh, so go ahead and put the, the lady with the long stick there right in front of you. Oh, good. Um, as she is going to come at you That's how you with a, uh, a marble sword that springs out from her hands <coughs> as awesome. actually a part of who she is as she swings down Great. upon you. Um, did she beat my initiative? She did. I don't like that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, 18 to hit. Um, yeah, that hits me. So you are going to take 27 points of bludgeoning damage as this marble sword, which is more of a club than a sword, smashes down upon you. Um, as you are now within 10 feet of her, I need you to do a strength check, which uh, strength saving throw, uh, DC 17. Oh, wait, no, she's a regular person. That's DC 15. Do not make it. Um, you start becoming petrified ah. as your body starts to seal up as you've been hit and are now within. How uh, quickly is it spreading? Is it like potion immediately or? Uh, no, uh, you're going to do it with disadvantage on your attack, right. um, but you have basically one full round before you are going to become. Oh, it's a full round. A whole round, just to yourself. Um, at this point. We're going to cut over to the three of you guys who just burst into a house without looking. Cool. Yeah, I was going to do something before we went in. Okay. I was going to cast Seeming on us. Okay. And make us look like stone people. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, do a... Ooh, no, they, they know. Um, as soon as you burst in, um, you see two more people in the room. They're in the small room. Um, and it looks like they're just sitting down and having a conversation with one another, but they're, no one's talking. They're just looking at each other and making movements. Uh, so the three of you guys burst into the room, and they turn and they look at you. Um, Patricia! Uncle Jeff! I missed you guys! At which point, they jump up and attack. Um, <laughs> ah, Alright, let's see. We're going to zoom in here. So right. yeah, so 20 gold. I think that as, as, oh. as I'm about to shoot this lady in the back with the chromatic orb, I think. Send a message to everyone. Uh, oh, hey, well, was there a 20 gold? So who's up front for the. Uh... Team 2? Yes. Me. Alright, 29 to hit you. Maybe we should be like team like. Oh, like yeah, that's or something. Me. something cool. Gotta get our team name down. Something cool. Oh, gosh, I rolled pretty good on that one. 35 points of bludgeoning damage. As the next one jumps up and is going to attack the second person who's closest. Who's that? I don't know. <laughs> she went directly at him! <laughs> Point to the wizard. There you go. All right, that's Damn. Fine. Uh, 30 hey, to hit. To be, to be fair, uh, I didn't no. I didn't I mean, know yes. idea what's going on because I'm so ditzy. I'm like, wait, what? And then you guys just burst and I'm like, wait, what are we doing? Uh, 22 points of damage. Okay. As this thing, sma they both jump up and smash as hard as they can into you. Okay, so we're calling the one that's the mother, A. We're calling the other two in the other rooms, B and C. A. Uh, all right, B. Finn, you are up. This C. marble mother <laughs> has just attacked you. Might as well get D&E ready for those two. 
Is that okay. you know? Um, well, I mean, I'm gonna <coughs> go after her with my short sword. Mm-hmm. Let's not get ourselves here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find everything. It's a 24, oh, I'm sorry. 29 to hit? 29 hits. Seven piercing? Yeah, and then can I take my second attack? Absolutely. That's a 16 to hit? 16 does not yeah. hit. Actually, it hits her, it just right. glances off all this metal <coughs> or not, um, marble all across her body. Was it you that said that we should go and talk to them? And then you dipped out. <laughs> you're like, let's no. go talk. And then you're like, see ya. <laughs> no. I have a question for the DM. Yes. Who said, let's just move around the side and avoid this place? That was yeah, me. I did. Yeah. That yeah. right, was me. I All did those that. who didn't want to die, raise your hand. <laughs> it's okay, let's fight. All right. All for it. Are you doing another attack? Or are you done? Uh, I just get those two. Okay. Bonus and then Starla. Um, I can bonus action hide, but I don't think I can get away from her. Yeah, you're, she's the only. You guys are the only things in the room. Something to distract her. Um, if someone else was in the room, that would have worked. Oh, uh, I can bonus action um, hunter's mark on her. I'll do oh, there you go. I'm going to bonus action um, earth elemental. Okay. Uh, As you turn yourself into the earth elemental. To your horror, you see that little specks of you are marble as opposed to just being. It looks great. It looks great. It does oh, look okay. per shiny. perfect, okay. some might say. Um, and then I'm going to do um, two slam attacks on the person that just hit me. So, see. It's not bad. Um, Oh, that is like 18. Okay. So 18 to hit? No. Um, 26 to hit. 26 hits. Is he going after B or C? Who hit me? C? I think so, yes. Yeah, I would hit C. And then <laughs> the other one. That's one I'm going to kill. Okay. Uh, 24. 24 damage? No, to hit for the. Oh, like, yes. Attacks. Yep, both of them hit. Twenty-nine damage. As you smash into this uh, couple that was in this room. Okay. Anything else? No. Alrighty. Pavel, he's gonna move his thirty feet from where he's at to get through the front door. Um, I'm not sure he can make it. Where's the front door? Uh, uh, right, right behind me. Yep. Yeah. Want to bash? Yeah. Yes. All right. So he can see you through the window. As you're, <laughs> as he's running to your aid. I'm coming. Run faster. Mordai, you're up. So you uh, just ditched your friend and then look back through the window and now see that she's being clobbered by this thing that's in this room. I'm gonna stick my head up and I'm gonna cast a chromatic orb. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna do twin spell, so I'm gonna shoot two. Okay. And what are you choosing for your chromatic orb? Uh, I will make one thunder and one lightning okay. test. The light, the, the room lights up with oh, light right. and with Perfect. sound. Perfect. Boom! And? I rolled one and two. For... For damage? No, a 15 to hit. Oh, yeah. Nope. They both or better yet, with... uh, better yet, they end up right behind her. They light up, but she doesn't even stop. Doesn't even phase her. Damn. Um, well, that was really, <laughs> really sad. Do we each have a, a potion? Uh, yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then I will. Uh, 
<risa> Oye, ¿qué no te digo? ¿Dónde campo? Uh, I'll use my bonus action to cast Crown of Stars. So okay. I'll get the seven motes again, but I can't do anything this turn with it. Okay. As you start lighting up all around you. Nova. Okay, well, I'm obviously going to rage. Okay. And can I rage and call of the hunt at the same turn? Uh, rage is a bonus action, I believe. And then okay. you can have your action. Okay, well, then I'm going to... The call of the hunt gives them basically the same powers as, as my rage. So I'm going to give that to them. You guys get, like, a bonus. Oh, both of you. Yes. Uh, you guys gain five temporary hit points. Nice. Um, yeah, I can do up to four creatures. So yeah, all four of you guys. Five temporary. Yes, five temporary. I think it's and just then... like this too, because you don't want to roll hands in the. Yeah, it has to be within thirty feet. Of you. Sorry, girl. It's me. This that's gonna miss this time. Okay. Just give my elemental extra. All right. Anything else you're gonna choose to do or no? Oh. I still have one more action, correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, do you get two actions if you no, attack? It's just you just get it if you attack. You get two attacks as one action. All right, so you yeah. just get yeah. one action. Okay, so that's me then. Um, how am I going to do this? Uh, who would like to roll a d20 for your group? I have been rolling. All right, here it comes. Ten. Oh, I got a ten too. Uh, roll again. This is contested. Got this. Uh, let's see. You. you can decide if it's cocked or not. Which one are you rolling? The big the one. The big one. That looks pretty on the number right there, or is that? It's either a 4 or 18 or both. Yeah, it's like right in the middle. Well, four. It's a four. Yeah. It's a four? Yeah, we'll make it fun. All right. Four. Well, I got a two, so. Oh, <laughs> Um, you guys hear the uh, the stone guards as they're walking around <laughs> outside, but it sounds like they're on the other side of the street for whatever reason, and they're not aware just yet of you. Um, so they don't have an attack at that moment, but Jareth, you're up. Okay. I'm going to move up and over here. My soul and the lack of are here. We're both going to cast Greater Restoration on both of these and end the pressure fight. Status on these two. Ooh. On the on the uh, the on people. Both people that were fighting. Ooh. All right. Let's see. It's a great question. Um. Because Great Restoration specifically says. Yep. No, it's gonna do it. Um. I need two roll uh, twenties. Two twenties to roll. Who wants to roll them? Since it's that one. Don't. What? I've been really bad at rolling. Just, 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 just solid roll. Yeah, just, 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 have faith. You're rolling for B. I'm rolling for C. <coughs> okay. Sixteen. Sixteen. Six. 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 Um, you rolled for B. Uh, as soon as you do uh, the release of the petrification, um, you see the skin and everything kind of come back, and you see that person like start heaving and trying to breathe. Um, they still have, like, patches on their body of um, petrification, but it's slowly but surely going to go away. It's like they're going to slowly heal. Um, B is out of the fight at the moment um, and is not going, most likely, will not attack again. C, on the other hand, um, resists being petrified, uh, unpetrified. Um, they are more this thing than the other one was, and there so therefore, there was still there was still, there was still yeah. something left of Origin B. Strong. C, there just she's just that's who she is now. There's nothing left to unpetrify. She is just this, this is who she is now. Um, okay, anything else? Uh, nope, that's all I got. All right, back to the top of the round. A is back up again, and it's going to attack the only person that it knows is there. That it can see, because the other attack did still squat with it. <laughs> hey, you know, can't win them all. Yep, uh, that is gonna hit with a thirty to hit. No. Yep. 
And that is a 30 bludgeoning damage as this sword again comes swinging down, cracking. Just left your teammate to die. Yep. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. You don't get a cupcake next time. <laughs> Alright, C is up. C is going to swing. <laughs> no razor blades in it. I'll use the bad tequila. Uh, Zerith, since you're the one that did the um, <coughs> unpetrification of that person's partner, it's going to swing at you. That's 26 to hit. Sure, I will cast shield and make that not hit. Ooh. You cast the shield as this marble just comes smashing down on top of it. The weight of this thing even presses you further back, but you're able to not take any damage from it. Um, Finn, you are up again. Yeah, I um, I want to do something a little bit crazy, so I want to um, like grab her. Okay. And um, and dump the poison or the potion on us. Oh. Like on both of us. Okay, this is going to be a strength check then. Oh, I'm so strong. Oh, I did not roll very well. That's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, you got it. Wait, athletics, acrobatics, or just just a raw strength? strength. strength. Okay. Um, They're very strong, and I rolled horribly. Well, I appreciate that. I need that. Wow. Okay, nineteen. Nineteen. You there beat you it. Go. So you just hit her just right as she just topples over. You grab your potion and shove it over the top. <coughs> of her. Um. The first thing that you notice is that the potion, when it cracks open, it's only a small potion. Yeah. But it's carrying a lot more in it than just what's Perfect. in there. And, and I'm so, just a little guy. And you're small. Just a little guy. And so it pours all over you and then lands on her too. And as it does, you see that um, her body starts to turn back into a normal person again. She wasn't a full um, uh, marbled elf at the moment. Um, she is no longer going to attack you. Um, but she's slow. She's gonna take a while for her yeah. to like unpetrify. Can I? Um, can I? I guess that's my. Whole, is that my whole turn? <laughs> uh, I think so. So you uh, you've wrestled and opened. I was hoping to opened. soak up some of this to put on the baby. Yeah, I don't think there's anything left. Right, I have one. I'll on use it. mine on. Um, the baby doesn't seem phased at all. Like, but the, the baby is so... stone. This woman is gonna lose her mind when she realizes her baby is. It's very possible. Um, but yeah, she's she's back and getting better. Matter of fact, that means that the two of you guys are no longer in combat. And I've seen Pavel heal petrification before, so I know he can. Yes, he definitely has uh, greater restoration. Beautiful. Which is the other thing that helps with petrification is greater restoration. And he has his paladin. The holy hands. I forget, I forget what it's called. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's the official name of the spell. Um, so yeah, so she's starting to come back. You're out of combat. We're gonna go straight over to Starla. You're up. Okay. You guys are still in combat. Um, did I see what he did? Like, she's like not crazy anymore. Uh, yeah. It's pretty obvious that okay. that one of them it worked on one and it did not work on the other. Um. Oh, so you're going to give the potion to yeah. the same I one? I just broke it over their face. Uh, because they hit me first. That's why I love Star Wars. For C, right? Yeah. <coughs> and nothing happens. Yeah. Can I see that? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. There's nothing left to unpetrify. Which is a new one. Oh, we're really into it. I know. Uh, we just got to kill that one again. Uh -huh. <laughs> you did your best not yeah. to kill her. <coughs> well, can I use my other slam attack then? <laughs> you know what? I'll let you do a slam attack for doing that. So, okay, yeah, thanks. There you go. That way you're not wasting your entire turn. Yeah. Yeah, he absolutely. was going to slam it into him. So there you go. Fair. He did. He did. That's fair. Okay. 
No. Nope. All right. Uh, Pavel's turn as he is now making his way into the room completely. <coughs> now he's no longer in combat. Do these guys see him? Is that how loud he is? Oh. What's the roll for Pavel for me? I will. Okay. Yeah, go for it. You should still have stealth. It's 14. Oh, he has disadvantage, right? <laughs> 14? No. Yeah. I rolled a 14, too. <laughs> but oh, he so gets roll plus 10. He's got to roll again anyways. He gets plus 10. No, he has boots of Elven kind. He doesn't have disadvantage. Oh, is her uh, thing still going? Yeah. It's been less than an hour. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So he makes it through. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was just so excited that we rolled the same thing twice. Yeah. That's awesome. Never happens. Um, so, yeah, he makes it into the room, and he shuts the door just as you hear the steps of this large creature outside stepping around. Um, he looks over at you guys and says, what is going on? What? What happened to her? I, I cured her. The baby is still stoned. Um, she's coming too. Uh, he's going to go over to the baby, and he's going to cast Greater Restoration. And as he does, um, nothing happens. Oh. The baby is... And as he's casting it and nothing's happening, he looks at her and says, It's because she's so small. It, the, the infection <coughs> fully went into the baby, which is why the mom had more time. Um, at this point, we're going to go back to the room that's still fighting. I'm going to take you guys the out. The fun of, room. The yeah. fun room. Do we hear any commotion? Um, no. We're very quiet when we fight. Um, we're so whispering. So let me see. Uh, Starla's gone. No, they're inside the room. No, more than Oh yeah, I would come inside <laughs> after the danger has passed. Yeah, Mordai's like, I've I always been here. I getting discovered by. The <laughs> yeah, I would definitely want to come back inside. <laughs> All right, so uh, Nova, I think, I believe it's up. Uh, you're up next. Okay, well, I'm gonna take my battle axe and just try to. To whack her. All right. Oh, I think I have to move to do that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just go up as, and just like whack her right on the head. All right, roll the hit. Somewhere in there. Yeah. It's a D twenty, yeah. D twenty. Yeah. Plus your attack. Like... I got seventeen. Plus. What was it? Nine. 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 Oh yeah. Card last time. Is that for? Battle axe. Battle axe? 13 plus 13. Oh, plus 13? Yeah, I gave you a better battle axe. The other okay. one was. Okay. It was trash. So I gave you a better one. <laughs> so, yeah, so you hit. So now you get to go ahead and uh, roll damage. That's a okay, D8. So I roll 1D8 or 1D10? Oh, you um, use two hands and you do 1D10. Oh, I was doing two hands. All right, that means a D10 plus 8. It's a cleansing touch, what I was thinking. Nope. Cleansing okay. touch? <laughs> uh, that, you see the one with the right, the 20, What's the spell say in cleansing right touch? Oh, this one? Yeah, oh, this one? Yep, nope, the, no. yeah, that, yeah, yeah, you're right. You well, can use your action to spend one spell on like yourself, the one willing creature that you touch. So, eight plus eight. Yeah, and then you add your rage thing, too. Yeah. It should be two, I think. You could try it. That's Pavel's. Yeah. It's not going to work. This is why I couldn't remember what it was called. Plus four. So yeah, plus four, nice. so twelve. So you add plus twelve to your attacks. Wow! Because of rage. Plus when she's 20. raging, she's plus twelve. Not that plus is eight. awesome. Yeah. yeah. 20. So that's twenty. Yeah, that's twenty. Twenty damage. Yeah. Wow. And you, have another attack if you want. And you get yeah. another attack. Yeah. All right, roll again. Well, what if I want to do something else? I'm gonna use my tail and whip her. So All right. I'm gonna whack her on the head, and, and I'm gonna spin. do a spin move and <laughs> straight in the face. All right, it's a plus 10 to your uh, d20. 16. Sixteen does That's plus not. plus 10. Oh. oh, yeah, so 16 does not hit. Okay. As you spin around with the tail, and, and it just takes a quick step back, and it's back in the back in the fray. Zerith, I believe you're up now. Unless you have a bonus action that you want to use. Nah, I feel defeated because I missed that one. Oh. So now I'm all, I'm all back to her all sad. Oh. <laughs> Tail's broken in half. <laughs> Cracked. My tail hurts. I'm all petting it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do, uh, do a good old fireball. Fireball. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, 27. Jeez. 27 to hit? Yeah. 27 hits. And then 31 for the simulacrum. 31 to hit? To hit Absolutely. Yeah. Both yeah. of those hit. Nine points of damage on the first one. Okay. And 21 on the second one. Oh, good. It's absurd. Six of one and one, or seven of one and one. So as you uh, do the, uh, as you both, you and your simulacrum, cast the same spell on this thing, uh, the first thing that you would notice is that it, uh, the fire seems to just like flow over the marble. Um, until you start seeing that it heats up slightly, and then suddenly the other blast also does the same thing, and it cracks as she falls to the ground now in three pieces. She is no longer moving. And you guys are now all out of combat. We did it. Now we have houses. <laughs> so sorry. I absolutely biffed it up. Get the value right here. Yeah. Airbnb this shit. Sell it. Old Airbnb. I will admit that was not my best. Okay, we gotta get in contact with the other team. So, because we can't just go out because those guards are out there. I can get in contact with them. How is the lady doing? The lady doing. Uh, oh, the one, yeah, she's starting to come too, but you can tell that she's very disoriented. Oh, yeah. Um, We're gonna gag ours. Okay. And then explain, and then hopefully they chill out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're very docile. They're not They're yeah. not putting a lot of yeah. effort into this whole thing. Just don't want them to make a bunch of noise. Once they're chill and calm, we can undo the... Yeah, Pavel's gonna give you uh, 16 points of healing. And then he used the lesser restoration, greater restoration. I will. Are you still hurt? I will also heal you. I'm. I'm in pretty good shape. Um. I contact the other team. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm at 159, so I'm. I think I'm. Yeah. I'll, Wait a minute. <coughs> so Pavel has greater restoration at will. Yeah. He doesn't have to have use spell slots. Man. Dang. How do you get that? That's I a, don't know. That's awesome. Oh, because of the beads. Oh, yeah. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the beads. He burns a bead when he does it. Yeah, that's why I did last time. We had to do that spell. Because Got it. Got yep. Okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, the lady comes to the, the one you guys are in your room. And... Oh, yeah. um, She's trying what? to talk to you, but she can't talk to you. Oh, she's, gonna... she's, yeah. um... We'll undo it. We just oh, don't want the initial... I'm, I'm still in my Earth form, but I, you know, am a cross vibe, so like, yeah. I look like a monster. Yeah, I'll, like I'll tell monster. her, like, hey, this is a good guy. Basically explain the situation, what happened. We were trying to escape, and and, and I started to slow down, and, yeah. and then that was the last thing I remembered. Yeah, there's 17. Big guards out there, so... Thank you. Uh... Thank you for saving me. Am I going to be okay now? I don't know. You're going to have to pretty much make a run for it back across the other <laughs> way. You're going to have to make a run for it. I'm not going to lie, not gonna lie <laughs> to yeah, you. Yeah, there's elves. There's elves on the edge of the forest over there. Yeah, just tell them we sent you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely go. Oh. You want to get them together? Yeah, like, they're, they're like sentries. I'm sure they'll be spotted yeah. before they run into them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as you guys are finishing up your conversation, I'm going to come back to the two of you. Um, oh, I'm not there. Sorry. Yes. Uh, your lady has now come to as well. And she's kind of disoriented, but she's... What's going on? What's what's happening? You, 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 you're cursed. You got turned to stone. I'm very sorry, but your baby is... Um, your baby? baby? Well, don't phrase it like that. She's stone. I have, I have a baby? No. No, I throw a blanket over the crib. Oh, I, throw the baby. <laughs> I don't have a baby. Did I have a baby? You what don't I'm... have a baby. Oh my gosh. I stand in front of it. Uh, There's was... no baby. I was looking for my, my father. I went back to the city to get my father and help him out. But he, I, I... he went out for cigarettes. He went out for cigarettes and never came yeah, back. Yeah, you should go. You should go. You should go. <laughs> to what? It's Scott. north, right there. Uh, yeah, north, east, west, northwest. 
fast. Yeah. You should not. Like right now? Should I just take off now? And... Uh, yeah, but be, you know. Stealthy about it? Yeah. Like, how are you? <coughs> uh, Do you have any skills? Yeah, I'm a potter. I can, I can make a, a pot. It's a little ironic, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send a message to... To the other group? To Mordai, yeah. Okay, what's the message? We have a survivor. We are... How many houses down are we? Uh, like we four. We are four houses okay. down. Well, how good? Big guards outside. Be quiet. Send survivors home. Found one, two. Kill guards? <laughs> Question mark. After you ditched the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh. Shit, I lost the train of thought. Uh. Let's meet God, you're sneaky, right? at this. <sighs> yeah, we can sneak. We can sneak there. Yeah. We can go to them. Yeah. Oh, we so can help this lady you. get to. We'll bring her with us. Tell him we'll bring her with us. See you soon. So I tell her, you have to be. You have to be so quiet right now. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. And I kind of push her away from the crypt. <laughs> um, and I'll peek out the door. Uh -huh. Do I see? Uh, you do see the, the sentries. Um, uh -huh. They're walking away from you. They're actually walking Great. Okay. the other direction. So um, I'll turn around and I'll just remind everybody to be quiet. And then I'll uh, lead us out uh, sneaky towards okay. the house that they're in. All right. Um, there's nobody out on that side of the things, on that side of the buildings. Um, and those who are there are just doing their other fake tasks. Right. Um, and so, yeah, you guys make it to the to their rooms, basically, or their house that they're in. Um, and you guys go inside. You guys are all back together again. Great. So this is the lady we rescued. So this is the lady we rescued. <laughs> Her name's Jane. Um, the other one's name's Fonda. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, no! You're dating yourself with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> um, that was sad. <laughs> so she's looking for her dad. Uh, I think he went out to get milk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I nice. think he's, you know, he's with the rest leaves. of the elves. The survivors. Sure. I didn't understand. No one saw me, bitch. Just <laughs> <laughs> wasn't mine that time. Um. Well, we definitely are just gonna send them back. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. we can't really go with them. Mm -mm. So they just gotta kinda hope. They gotta them. hustle. They gotta yeah. hustle and tussle. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's. I think all the food and you guys turn it into stone, so. How far is the walk for us? Uh, it's only like a mile. Oh. So it's not very far it's at all. It's a mile that way. Yeah, we can we can make it a mile. We can we make run it. the whole way. The other one says, I, I, was, I was a ranger, so yeah, I could, I could definitely. I haven't, I haven't worked in years, but I, I was in my younger days. I was a ranger, so yeah, I can get us there. <coughs> okay, Rambo, you take Absolutely. care of it. All right, so they're gonna let him run off. Yeah, quietly. Okay. So they, they she holds onto the potter, and she's like, "Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna go quick." I give the potter a dagger. <laughs> so they don't know what to do with it. She's holding on to it. Okay. And then you see him just take off. Um, anybody who watches sees that the the ranger is actually doing really well at, you know, stopping and, and you know, maneuvering around the, the neighborhood in a way that no one's seeing them. Um, so yeah, they take off. We have now freed two uh, people from. Uh... Should we go back for that girl that was raped right for rocks? No. No, I really don't. I'm, I'm <laughs> oh. over it. Yeah, let's keep going. By the way, towards the city. <clears throat> Somebody owes me money. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you Sarah, I'm broke. I'm sorry. Ring check. Uh, what are, you, what are they paying you for? Uh, I put 20 to 1 odds on. <laughs> we would definitely end up fighting stuff. Yeah. And they, they right, well, I just let the record show that I hit. 
I said we should just... Yeah, yeah she did, like, kind of solve the problem by herself. Like, I took a shot and totally missed. Yeah! And they were giving you a hard time last night. <laughs> and now... It's fine. All is right. That's right. All Thanks, right in the world. <laughs> Do you want to kill these guys? These big stone <coughs> dick bags? Uh, um, we can just sneak past them. Yeah. Probably not. I, I, think, I think we're good. Just Unnecessary down. fight. Yeah. Yeah, you're starting to sound like, uh... What's his face? Him. Crazy guy we used to travel with. Oh, Darshan? No, the other one. Horse Bara. 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 Yeah. The, the horse. Yeah. Oh, the horse. Small Great. <laughs> Big horse teeth. Always have to. Always. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He was jealous of his brother's penis for context. <laughs> Great. Mario. His brother's name was Mario, if you care. <laughs> I thought it was, um, <laughs> it was something, it was something punny. What's that? I so said his brother's name was something punny. Oh, yeah. It was Mario. It was Mario. Mario. No, he had another one. Oh, there was like, there was like, there was a slow Oh, yeah, there was, oh, yeah, the other one died. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, so what are you guys going to do? What do you, what's the plan? Take off? Start running? Sneak yeah. back out and cut Continue running outside, through the... Yeah. All right. It should be a safe house, so it's oh. not safe as long as we're here. <laughs> we could. No, but there's nobody. Can, nobody, nobody, nobody they don't know the orders no. left. Oh, I'm gonna take an item. Oh yeah, can we look around? For teleport. For teleport. Um, for yeah. Oh, yeah. The the room that you guys are currently in, the small room. <laughs> it's barely a room. Um, everything in it is marble. Everything. Oh, well, I don't want anything. Just heavy and useless and blunt. Yeah. Even the swords that they were attacking with were very blunt. They were just yeah. massive nastiness. But they do impart the curse, don't they? Um, is that when yes. she hit me, it did? Uh, it's not that she hit you. It's that you got too close. <gasps> oh, you guys God. didn't roll. Oh, I forgot about that. I didn't get close oh. to anyone. You didn't. But they did. Oh, oh man. Sorry, boo. I totally forgot all about that. Just for fun. <laughs> Let's just what see what would have happened. Uh, it's uh no, and this one this is a uh strength saving throw, DC seventeen. Do I have to make one? No, he's never got close. Well, I rolled a seventeen to <coughs> die, so Alright. So you would have you would have saved. Nope. So I would have petrified another person. Are you immune to petrification? Oh yeah, I'm I'm stone. I'm in stone. Oh. Still. Uh, it's a different type of petrification. Uh, <laughs> you you would have advantage on it. You would have advantage. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. So. Twenty two. So you would have felt like the gods of forgetfulness of the DM came to your aid and saved you. <laughs> yeah, that I you would have been petrified had uh, they had no more, more time. Um, okay, so uh, time to keep on running. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna stay in stone form. Plan, right? And I'm actually gonna go under, underground, just like low, covert, but I'm gonna be like underneath them the whole time. So I'm like walking with the boat, almost like a shadow. Okay. Um, as you're walking through the ground itself, because it's all marble, you feel, and it's not just regular marble, it's cursed marble. It's like mud. It's like really, really thick and like you're able to do it, but you have, it's like difficult terrain for you. Um, so it just takes you long. Um, so yeah, so you make it through and... Is there anything in the sky? Like birds or anything? No. No, no bugs. bugs. No birds, no nothing. Dogs, no cats. That's right. Um, I want to be on my broom. Do you want to ride? Sure. Yeah. Fly. I'll climb on. Okay. Uh, so you two get on. How high are you going up? Are we just chilling? Uh, I'll say about a hundred feet. Hundred feet. Um. Okay. Roll some d20s for me. 
Oh, good. Just a raw Just D20. Just a flat D20? Uh, flat D20. 16. Four. Excellent. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, it's me, you, and Pavel. <coughs> and we don't have plus 10 to our stealth anymore, so we're definitely getting seen by these guards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you start lifting up into the air, um, you're like, oh my gosh, this town is like, they're all marble, and you're like looking at all the different people and everything else. And the higher and higher you go up, um, the, the air starts getting really, really thick for some reason. At which point, um, you look around and you see this boulder flying towards you. Um, let's see what this is going to be. Wait, my passive perception is 22. Yeah, mine's 18. All right. Um, you see that the guards down there below see you. You see the board. Um, <laughs> so, I, I, I perceive it. Yep. So they, they see you. So uh, they're gonna both get a, a throw at you. Um, Eighteen to hit you. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna try. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Do it again. This is a goodness gracious. Come on, go, baby, go. Twenty-seven to hit you. Yeah. Okay, so that is, this is, we're going to share this one roll for damage as bludgeoning damage as this rock hurls towards you. Uh, 31 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> and you need, who's, you're riding the brim. Yeah. So uh, I need you to do a strength saving throw DC 17. Or be knocked prone, which is going to be knocked off your, stoned off your. Take the broom down with you. 12. 12. Oh. And you both start falling to the ground. Actually, let's, let's have you do a dexterity save throw. See if you can actually grab hold of the, um, the broom before yeah. he gets off. And we'll do the same uh, DC. Uh, DC 17. Dex. 29. 29. So you see him going, what's that? Pow! And he's just completely off the broom. Jeez. As you start flying a bit out of control and you grab a hold of the broom. And now you guys are all back in combat once again. Can I control it? You can control the broom, yes. Okay. You're um, falling a minute right now, I catch you. we're going to take a quick break and we're going to do this whole round all over again. We'll see what happens. We'll be back soon. <laughs> Hello, hello. Thank you very much for giving us a quick break. And now we're getting right back into the middle of it. Uh, and, uh, whoa, where were we? Oh, that's right. The Valley of Despair. Um, let's go ahead and place our minis on the board. And I'm going to go ahead and throw a grid on this as well. There we go. Um, that's right. Mordai is currently falling. I scream. Uh, all right. And let's have everybody go ahead and roll for initiative once again. Come on, be better than last time. Only mildly. Okay. Got it. Did you do it twice? Mm. Oh, I I got a 18. I... Might get a 20. Okay. Never know. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. a four, there so we'll go. go with the eight. <laughs> yeah, there you go. If you ever have advantage, even if you know you hit, always roll advantage because you might crit. Okay. Just in case. Barbarian, you got those good reflexes. <laughs> you have the crazy crits, too, barbarians, right? Mm hmm. They get like extra D, whatever it's like they use. three extra dice damage or something. And. Alright, we're now starting up. Um, go ahead and place one of the large uh, bad boys over on that side. And then the other one is actually pretty close where he needs to be, just in the middle of the street. Back over here, you said? Yep. Do we know which one threw the rock? Oh, they both did. They both picked up these rocks. And actually, you guys are down below and you guys are talking about, okay, we're going to be stealthy. And you look over there and you see, oh, shoot, I see one. And the person looking the other direction is like, oh, I see one. And they're both looking up and they both grab these boulders and just chuck them flying up the sky 
now you will <coughs> see uh, Mordai falling down to his doom, screaming. Uh, Nova, you are first on the list. What is it you want to do? Is it an option for me to, like, do they see me? Uh, they actually don't see you yet. I'm going to be the worst barbarian and just, like, run away. Stealthily. Stealthily so run away? Me, right? Okay. Where so, do you want to go? Is that where we're in that house or where yep. are we? Yep, that's the house you guys are in. So I'm going to go behind the house, behind that house in the corner. Like out a window? Oh uh, yeah, out a window, down that way, and to the left, basically, as far as I can get. This way? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Or maybe just hiding behind the house to just be like, what's going on? Okay, so you kind of pop out and just kind of hold your action? Mm -hmm. Alright, Starla, you're up. Your buddy is falling to his death. You're like, when was the last time he did something good for me? What have you done for me lately? I thought that's necessary. What can I help you? Throw a stone. So technically, I'm I'm gonna go. It's fine. I can just I'm gonna go back underground. Okay. I see. And then I'm gonna go behind this guy. Okay. No, we have flying. All right. Flying and stuff. And then, and I, since I know that he hit my friend. Yep. I'm gonna pop up behind him. and give him two punches in the back. Alright, we're going to call him B, and we're going to call the other one A. Not B and B? No. I'm not going to be able to remember that. Switch that then. Is it A and B? A and B. You can do that. This one's A and that one's B. Excellent. So you're going after B then. Fourteen for the highest. Another one. Yeah. No, fourteen, 14 for the low one, and then uh, fifteen for the other one to hit. What do you need? Uh, are you doing with advantage? Because they don't know that you're there. Oh no, I didn't do it with advantage. Yep. Here's all concentration. You have advantage on the attack. Okay, that's a lot better. Um, so that'd be twenty-one. And twenty-one is a hit. Ooh, both of those guys hit. Nineteen damage? Oh, hold on. Plus ten. Twenty nine? Uh, Twenty nine, yeah. Twenty nine damage. Come up behind him and you're smashing him with your fists, right? Yeah. Excellent. Are your your hands are magical, yes? They count as magical objects? Elemental Yeah, elementals are magic, I believe. I'm gonna keep it until you tell me that they are not. Um So, um, yeah, since you're a magical creature, I'm going to assume that they are. And then we find out later on they're not, then we're in bed or not. Um, another rock flies out as A is only paying attention to you and uh, Mordai. Uh, a 16 to hit. That is my own. Ooh, meets it, beats it. Um, Oof, so you girl. see this rock as it smashes into you again. This is 19 <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage. You also need to do a strength saving throw of 17 or also be knocked off the broom. You guys might lose the broom here. Shh, don't say that, Tom. Oh my goodness. What was the... Um... DC is 17. Oh, come girl. on. Is this a flat roll? Or this is a death? A saving. A, a, a strength saving throw. You got this, girl. Part of the dice. Oh, that's one I get to re roll it. Oh, <laughs> Halfling. <laughs> Halfling's luck. All right. Come on. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Dirty 20. So <laughs> this thing really just knock rocks your world, because it's a rock. Um, <laughs> But you manage to spin slightly and still hold on tightly to um, <laughs> to the, the grip of this thing. Uh, B's turn. B is going to flip around, and um, it's going to take some swipes against Starla. Uh, Starla, first attack. 25 to hit. Second attack. 18 to hit. Oh, no. <laughs> 29 also. So all three hits uh, 
First one is 31 damage. How much? 31. Oh, good. So you're going to take half. <coughs> uh, the second one was also 30. So call it 15. Uh, the second one also take 15 as well. Because it was also a 30. And the last attack is 39. So take 20. It's okay. Did you say 39? 39. You need to relax. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled really well on that one. I'm just mad that I'm prettier than them. Yes. Um, Looks like I have reasons to do that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Finn, uh, you're seeing all this happen. Um, you have a chance to react? Yeah, I want to try and catch Mor Mordai before he hits the ground. Okay. Um, so with a dash, you can go... How fast is your broom? 50. Okay, so we're going to do a dexterity on both sides. Actually, no, we'll just do a dexterity on yours. She can reach oh. you. The question is, is that can you grab. grab her? So she just ducks and dives down as fast as you can. You guys were up Dex 100 save feet. save or just normal dex? Oh, this is definitely a save. You guys are 100 feet up in the air at the point. Okay, 19. 19. Nice. Um, so you end up barely grabbing a hold of, uh, of her hand as she grabs a hold of you slows you down slightly before you hit the ground. Uh, you don't take any damage, but now you guys are both on the ground. So you just saved him from all kinds oh. of bludgeoning damage. You can't be so, having you. What is it, like a D10 for 10 feet or something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can't. Yeah, so that was, that was almost the end. I, yeah, I was planning <coughs> on how to avoid. All right, so uh, Mordai, with that, uh, you it's now your turn. As uh, she just saved your life Is and saved your room. Yeah, you you dashed and grabbed him. Oh. Do you have? You can put a bonus action. Um, uh, yeah. Can I see? Is Misty step a bonus action? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I see if there's anything else? Can I see what was that? Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's with the ring. Is it a bonus action or is it a? Misty step the spell is a bonus action. As a bonus action, correct. Okay, then I will misty step um, to just the far side of like the back slope of the roof, Ooh. so that I can have some partial cover. Nice. Um, like at the chimney. Excellent. And um, yeah. All right. Perfect. Get yourself into a better position than <coughs> right up front with everybody else. Yeah. All right, more die. Going to turn towards A, and I'm going to do. I'm going to do. I'm going to twin spell chromatic orb again. Okay. Just to see if I can poke him. I'm going to do one thunder, one lightning. Okay. I crit on one, and then uh, a nineteen to hit. Uh, nineteen does not hit. Okay. And you're going after A or B? Uh, A. Okay. You got enough kids or do you need some more? I need one. I have my giant D8. points of thunder damage. Okay. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to shoot one of my stars. Okay. So that was a second level spell. And Zerith, you're going to be up next. Okay. 29 to hit. Yes. And that is 4d12. Okay. Okay. 
three, 29 points of radiant damage. Okay. Oh. What happens when I hit him with radiant damage? Nothing. Oh, just, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> just, just rolls over the top. Even the thunder and the lightning uh, seemed to roll off of him, but it, some of it connected, but not all of it. Oh. What did the fire do earlier? Did it seem like it connected good? Or just rolled over? It's kind of rolled over, but <coughs> I mean, it, it took it out. But yeah. they're not... Those aren't the keys. Not the keys of the kingdom, my friend. Alright, well... That's it for me. All right. Oh, and I want to move. Do I have my I move room back? Uh... Do I have grabbed it from you? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't... Yeah, she just ditched it. She just <laughs> was yeah. gone. I'll grab it and I'll, uh... You wanna fly again? Yeah, I wanna... I have 50 feet of movement. So I wanna fly over to this roof to get some cover if I can make it all the way over here. Right there. That's 50. <sighs> I don't wanna be like out in the middle by myself, so I'll, I guess, fly well, towards I'm this roof. I'm fighting me, technically, so they're facing me. Yeah, I'll come right here, then. Dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I dropped him. He's done for. Bad. <laughs> I need you right there. Okay. That's fine. Ten, right? They're five feet? Yeah. All right. Fifty. <clears throat> Zero. Okay. The, uh... Deck saves from you, please. All right. Deck save number one is 16. Fail. And the lesson fails as well. Great. Oh no, Pavel. So. Plus 83. A um, lot. Eight, 180. That's a, that's a double disintegrate, my friend. All right, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what's the total? 182. 182? Yeah. <laughs> on this one? On A or B? <laughs> on B. Oh, shoot. Don't hit my crystal, friend. That's right. I gotta re-earn Starla's friendship. So hard. B disintegrates and falls to pieces and falls to the ground. Woo! Well done with one attack. <coughs> that was quite She's gonna do like a spectacular. <laughs> yep. And then we go back inside. And with that, do you have any other things that you want to do? I think I'm good, Tom. There you go. Okay, alright. Please awesome. forgive me. <laughs> Uh, Pavel comes out, um, and he is going to have nothing. I'll, I'll say you can't use radiant on them. They're immune. Oh, so smash I'll say that to everyone. Uh, he's going to have to dash to get over to the other one. So he's going to come right out the front door and start dashing. He's 60 feet. Can't really see on these lines, so I'm yeah, kind of guessing, so just so you know. I think it's right there, ish. Okay. Carry As he this. charges forward. All right, now we're back at the top of combat once again. Nova. Okay. So I guess we're fighting. <laughs> like, we can escape, guys. I'm, I'm gonna try escape. to come around that corner and go just as close as I can over here. Just I have 45 walking speed. Do you have any ranged attacks? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Oh, you have a javelin. 120 feet at disadvantage. I think that's farther. Yeah, I don't think I have that. Yeah, I'm about 250. Okay. I mean, that's about all I can do. Can I? You can, um, you can dash and do yeah. twice, twice as much movement. Okay, I'll dash. And then so another 45. Okay, another 45. Alrighty, and with that, 
Darla, you're up next. Unless you want to do anything with your bonus action. I, I don't think I'm close enough. Are you raging? Uh, oh, yeah, sure, let me rage. All right, sounds good. Um, I'm going to start going towards it, too. Okay. Uh, what is this thing? This is, if I actually Was there a chair in this house? Oh, yeah. Some dress. Yeah, we're sitting Marble. down on the chairs. Yeah, sitting back like, okay. <laughs> oh, my job. I took care of one. Smoking a cigarette. Zareth and himself. I think it's right there. Yeah. I can't see the square. Uh, okay. sure. Oh, there it is, right there. I think it gives you a goal on mini. Increase the... Or golem, not golem. I don't think you want to be golem. A golem? <laughs> golem? <laughs> no, I, I want to be a golem, now I've got golem. <laughs> Precious. Um, yeah. Let's Precious. see, it looks like everybody's kind of just round up all right there. Um, so, uh, from the guard, he pulls out something from his back area, and you see that it looks like a perfectly round marble sphere, but it's glowing inside, and he gets it, he chucks it uh, right into the middle of there. Uh, oh, into the well? <laughs> <laughs> the right past the well. The blast. Blast. Oh, so, uh, is that right 60 now. feet? Right is he within 60 feet of you guys? No. no. 5, 10, 15, 20, Definitely 20, not. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. I mean, you can move. Uh, yeah, I mean, so go ahead and move him up. Right there. What is the right, what is the move? Yeah, the boom's still going to cover everything. Uh, it's another 20, 20 foot radius sphere. So, is he going to be able to catch all four all three of you guys? Yeah. I don't know what his movement is, but he still has some movement left, too. I was he's like, he's I was just like going to get close enough just to chuck it get it between you guys. Um, I need everybody in that sphere there to do a uh, dexterity saving throw. Get plus five because you're standing within ten feet of Pavel. Oh, me too. Yep. So you'll get uh, yeah, whatever your dex is. His plus, you'll get plus five. five. And you get advantage for the danger sense. Sixteen. Oh, yeah. Sixteen. You failed. I got a four. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. So what are we adding? Strength six. Oh, dex six. Total 16? All right, you failed as well. Oh, we the and then Powell's in the middle of that oh, too, right? Did I get yeah. advantage on that? Yeah, because you have danger sense. Oh, okay, do it again. Okay. Come on, brother, you got it. Come on. You got a nine at least. Okay, okay. so 19. 19, yeah. 19 saves. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Pavel rolled a one. <coughs> okay, let's oh. All right, so those who failed take... 19 points of piercing damage and 24 points of radiant damage and you have the blind condition until your next turn at the end of your next turn so pavel is blind and you're blind pavel takes half radiant how much was the radiant radiant was 24 so he takes 12. what was the 16. What was the oh, wait, No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not 16. 19. Just say 9. So if you saved, you don't take the blind, though, right? If you saved, you do not take the blind. Oh, but on the save, save uh, you half. take half. But she's also raging. Yeah, but she's so raging. So it's so half, half. 19 to 8. Or to 9. 9 and 9 to, to say 5. Okay. okay. Man, that barbarian just like. Yeah, I'm like, you're, right? you're, you're, you're not even <laughs> touching my 10 points. You're just touching my 10 points. I'm still good. Oh, nice. Yep. All right, so everybody calculated their own um, damage on that one, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So that was the sphere that he threw, and then he is going to complete his movement. Oh, no, he's, again, he's too far away. He's just going to stay there. Um, what does he have? I moved him back because you said you just wanted him close enough to hit. So. Oh, yeah, then yeah, he'll stay there. Okay. That's fine. He knows you're going to come for him. Um, Finn, you're up. Your friends just got obliterated, except for the barbarian who's just like, bring it on. They did. 
did. Okay, so um, I will recast. I will recast Hunter's Mark. Okay. <clears throat> The other, the other creature just died, right? That you had the Hunter's Mark on originally? Yeah. So I don't think so you recast it. Spell slot. You just, just move it yeah. automatically, yeah. I think. Um, Is that right? Yeah. Just yeah. Okay. a bonus action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to... Do I have to, like, name this thing my oh, for enemy you. for the Oath Bone? Yeah. Yeah, you just say... Oh, I just you're say it. It's like it's not an action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, so just automatically you're doing that. Every time. Do it. Okay. Uh, that is a thirty-one. Thirty-one hits. Dang, girl. There it is. Get her. Get this girl in range, and she's good. Get away from the close combat. Goodness gracious. By the way, when I did the disintegrate, did the force damage seem like it went all all went through, or did it do any? It's kind of hard to tell when you're disintegrating stuff. Okay. But is, has that one? That one has taken damage. Right? Yes, it has. Six hits. That's another eleven. Excellent. D six for the first marks. Oh my gosh! Thank you. I knew I was pretty Another eight for the D six. There it goes. All right, shipping away at it. Uh, Mordai. So it takes piercing damage. It does. Because you have a, a magical bow. Got it. I would like to. Uh, I'll do uh, chromatic orb again. This time I'm going to do acid. Okay. Just kind of keep testing. Just going through them. Yep. 23 to hit. 23 hits. And we'll do a third. Hit him with an extra 3d6. Next time. Oh, did you forget to roll the dice? Yeah, the okay. extra 3d6 okay. for making it. Do you want me to roll them? Yeah, go to roll it. I'm so sorry. No problem. 23 acid damage. That's 23. another 10. 23 and another 10 from you. Um, so, yeah, so you got the additional 10. Uh, when you did the chromatic orb and acid, the acid you see starts to melt into the marble itself. Um, and so you see that it did all the damage that it was intended to do. Um, and it's actually kind of shocked at the fact that you uh, were able to hit it with anything. Because it's, re it's uh, resistant to most things. Pretty tough. But not acid. Uh, seeing this, Zerith, you're up. And then... Oh, oh sorry. Oh, then, and uh, then. I, I want to move. Uh, do I get closer? No, because I know all these guys are going to get closer. <laughs> Remember, so, uh, uh, Powell's blind, and so is Nova. Uh, no, Nova's not blind. I'm oh, blind. you're blind. You're yeah. blind. 
Starla is blind, and so is Pavel. I will, um... Quicken spell, and I'll cast... Uh, I'll cast Haste on Nova. Ooh, very nice. That means you're going to get an additional attack, right? Yeah, so you get plus two to your speed is double. Oh, perfect. You get plus two to your AC. You have advantage on deck saves, which you already have. And you can gain an additional action on each of its turns. Yeah, yeah. so you're going to be going to town here pretty soon. It's going to be the Nova show. Thanks for the extra walking, because <laughs> I needed that. Morda yeah. just points <laughs> to you and then points to the knight and says, Sick him! I'm just going to just go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zareth, you're up now. Yeah. Is there, like, windows anywhere right here? Oh, yeah. There's windows on all these rooms. Or on these uh, uh, places. And then I will also cast haste on... Me? Yeah, Starla. Ooh, Ooh. very nice. Uh, so I get extra walking speed? Uh, you get an extra oh, so action. 16. Yeah, you get two to your AC, advantage on deck saving throws. Yeah, your speed is double, too. I think it's And then... Now you're really fast. Scary uh, goal. Similar to that, just move. Right there. That's good. All right. Oh, let's switch your suits. Uh, Pavel is going to... end of his next turn. So at the end of this turn, he's going to not be blind anymore. Um, so for the moment, he's just going to take the dodge action. Um, he's not going to move forward or back. He can't see anything. Um, with that, it's the Nova show! Let's go. Starring Nova! So I'm just going to run up on him again. Two-handed okay. axe. Like lightning. Do I do advantage on this? Yeah, 90 feet. 90 feet of movement. Yeah. <laughs> that's and this not is even only 60. Shape. That's so great. <laughs> right. Seven. Imagine that's like little Plus little 15. bits of lightning, yeah. like Super <laughs> Saiyan. Because that's how Mordai's magic is. Yeah, your hair sticks <laughs> up. So 20. 20 hits. Starlo, you're up next. Remember, you are blind. Oh. points of damage. Okay. That was your first attack. You have two more, I think. Yeah. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna bite him. Ooh. You can also check to see if they're magical too, because if they're not magical then they do half damage. I don't think any of my magic. Your axes. Oh. Oh, so I should just keep using my axe then? If you want, or you, I mean, you can do the bite and stuff too, but I just don't know if it's magical or not. Oh, yeah, yeah if you do regular bite, I don't think it's magical. Okay, well, let's just keep hitting him with my battle axe three times. <laughs> As you smash. So, two more times 15 and 3 plus so. What was it? Plus 12? Plus 13. 13, so 28. Yep. 20 is hit. 16? Nope. 16 does not. Okay. So minus seven. Oh, why did I only get a one? Okay, but plus t plus eight. No, plus ten. Plus twelve. Twelve. So thirteen. Thirteen? Alright. Uh, I need you to also do a not so uh, much of the Nova show, she's now rolling to <laughs> uh, DC seventeen strength saving throw for you. Oh shit. You are now within this. It's okay. rage. You got it, girl. You're raging, so you have advantage mm -hmm. on strength saving throws. That's true. I should have enough. Here it comes. It's not that one, I think. So, plus 13. So, 23. 23. You start feeling this 
because you've hit it and it's close to you, you start feeling this stone, but you manage to shake it off before it could actually supplant itself into your into your skin. I'm just getting a brush off. This is ladies as chicks or pants too. Brush your shoulder. Alright, Starla. Um uh, well, I'm gonna turn up to it. I'm blind. <laughs> yeah. but you have tremor sense. Yeah, I have tremor sense. So. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah, tremor sense you can still because it's pretty large. Yeah, yeah. So you, you get up to it. Uh, and then since I'm hasted, do I get? I usually get two slam attacks. Do I get four now or just a plus one? Three. Okay. You get three. <laughs> Try. Oh, come on, Star Lord. Okay, my decks can go fuck themselves. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, and eight. What am I supposed to do with that? What? Two. One, two, and eight? Yeah. Sixteen was the highest. Yeah, Sixteen, Sixteen the highest. Not, none of them. So you're you're swinging. <laughs> well, you get rolled a one. Huh? You rolled one? Yeah. All right. Uh, oh. Do I put your... Yeah. So let's see what happens. Oh, no. Uh, roll, roll one more attack. Let's see if it hits her. I can take it. It's fine. Uh, you're good. Hit me. Nine. 19. Is 19 hit you? Now you roll no. good. Um, I have 21. 21? Yeah, plus two. Yeah, it's 19 <laughs> plus two, so 21. So you dodge just as his fist goes straight over your head. You're like, ah! <laughs> well, what? You just hear, well, she's trying to say I'm blind, but if you don't speak for Moto, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I speak yeah. Whatever that was, that's not right. <laughs> it's not very nice. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I need you to do a um, strength saving throw of DC 17. Even though I missed? Yeah, because you're, you're you within 10 feet of it. Okay. Yep. No, this is strength. Oh. Oh, uh, that is 24. 24. Again, you shake off. The, uh, the petrifying touch uh, as it's trying to inclu- encase you. Um, at this point, anybody who is in 30 feet, is Pavel in that list of 30 feet or no? I don't think he is. No. I, don't think I think so. we ran about 60 feet up. Nope. Yeah. Uh, so that means the two of you guys uh, see that the, um, the marble guard opens up its mouth, but instead of words coming out, you start hearing this low dragon-like growl start filling up the entire area all around you. Uh, I need you both to do a charisma saving throw, DC 14. Is this against magic? Uh, we'll call it magic. Okay, cool. We'll call it magic. Uh, what was it? Uh, 14 charisma. Oh, yeah, I got 16. Okay. Uh, for a moment, like your inner body was just vibrating with this fear of this this creature. Um, you, on the other hand, st- are stopped dead. You are now incapacitated. <coughs> and you are charmed oh, no, by the dragon's like, call. Like, that sounds nice. um, which means basically uh, you are... Um, you can't attack... The, the creature mm-hmm. um, or do any harmful things to it. Um, Is she going to attack us? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, no, I'm ready. Oh, good. <laughs> good luck, guys. Uh, so, yeah, so you think this thing is the best thing ever. It's like... I'm on its side now. Yeah, you're like, oh. oh. Why, why would, would I... Would I be, like, trying to convince them to join the side or am I just blindly <laughs> attacking? No, we're the enemies now. Yeah. Have, is there a charm? It's um, really fun. Yeah. I've been charmed a couple times. Just get to attack us now. I've been trying to go with that. With haste, says. by the way. Oh, so I'm point that out. Oh, yeah, I am right. Yeah, and haste it. Oh, yeah, can I, oh, yeah. Can I just I drop my concentration on haste so she loses the turn because of exhaustion? Um, you can, but oh, it's not going to matter. Uh, because it did the dragon, the dragon's call, and that hasn't done any other action, correct? It hasn't attacked or anything? It reaches out and it grabs hold of your shoulder as you are completely charmed by it. And as it does, your whole entire body turns into stone. Holy 
and you are stuck, frozen. You are petrified. officially petrified. Um, I didn't even get to attack. You didn't even get to attack or nothing. That's so funny. So you are out of combat for the moment. It's okay. I still have my potion. Really One sure person I out of the way. Um, yes. Because it, because the touch, you had no way of, of uh, stopping it. Um, so Finn, you've just seen your friend turn into stone right before your very eyes. I'm mad. All right. Um, does a 24 hit? 24 hits. Fuck him up. I got that sneak attack. Yep, sneak attack, 100 mark. Oh, so. All of it. Everything. Uh, 23 damage. 23 damage. Nice. That was great. And a 22. 22 hits. not looking well. Um, it looks like it's pieces of chips. The acid burns all over its body. <laughs> it barely has anything left to it. Uh, Mordai. Or do you have any other uh, actions? Uh, bonus action hide again. All right. Bonus action hide. Uh, I'm just going to cast uh, Acid Splash. Make a dexterity save. All right. And I rolled 11. Thank you. Boo -hoo. I do 13 points of acid damage. All right. As again, this creature like recoils from the pain of this acid on its uh, stone marble skin. And then it doesn't even resemble a, um, a statue at this point anymore. It's still looking super fucked up. Yeah. I'll, uh, it's looking more uh, more glob than anything else. Can I? Is anyone hurt? Can I look around and see if anyone like this? Yeah, she's petrified. Well, you're greater yeah, restoration. Well, I can't fix that with the bonus action. <laughs> but I've got a healing word. <laughs> You can also use your potion too. Check the potion. Oh yeah, can I do that with a bonus action? Yeah, no, wait until it's dead. Then we'll save her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's not, oh, she's not charmed anymore. I was no, yeah, can, what I, happened to can I help her with the bonus action? I have 50 feet of movement. What happened to the, bo the Nova show? <laughs> I forget she's charmed as well. I'm not charmed, it's okay. Just, Just petrify me. It. It. It's okay, I'm okay. I wouldn't know she was charmed though. No, you exactly. wouldn't know. You would not know. We have no idea. She just Who kind of like you? got weird for a second, she just froze. and yeah. then she got turned to stone. So exactly. she was getting turned to stone. I need some help. Yeah, nobody knows. So yeah, she didn't I'll... attack anybody. Exactly. Not oh, yet. Oh. I'll, I'll fly. Oh <laughs> uh, well, that's as close as I can get. Okay. All right. Um, and that's it. Might as well try throwing it with your bonus action. Or you, if you miss, you waste the whole potion. Yeah. You don't no, have a lot of those things. I'm not yet. trying to do that. I'll just uh, quick and spell ask the question. So make another deck save, please. Oh, another deck save? Yeah. Oh, 17. Fail. Oh, wow. Oh. 10 points of acid damage. <laughs> yeah, you only needed six. As yes. this thing starts to melt and fall to Woo. the ground. Um, as it does, one, you become out of combat. Two, you hear 
and feel this wave of force shoot out from it and spread out through the rest of the town. Um, you're not exactly quite sure that was, but it was definitely something. Are you still inside the house? Yeah, I'm by the window. I give, oh, uh, well, the other one got fully disintegrated, so I just acid splash this one's body. Oh, no, I guess not. I guess we should yeah. investigate. Are you going to help your buddy? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. don't waste your potions. Ah! Uh. Oh, do you have uh, restoration? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so you uh, cast greater restoration. Over there and cast greater restoration. All right, so you start coming to. Um, when you closed your eyes, basically there was this monster in front of you. You're about to just tear it apart, and now it's just this, you know, mess in front of you. You missed the you missed the the whole the whole crushing and destroying part. That was your favorite part, and they so took it sad. away. All right, what else do you guys want to do? Investigate the body. Yeah. See if there's any. Uh, the one that isn't ash. The one that's not ash. Um. Yeah. It's. It looks just like it's completely from inside out. It's complete marble. Uh. Even where the the person inside was at one point, um, manipulating it, you can't even tell that there was a person inside at all at, at this point. It's all just one solid. It is <laughs> that creature now, and it's completely solid all the way through. Can we see any of the other, like, marble inhabitants? Are they all acting the same way that they were? Uh, perception check. Oh. Ten. Ten. Really nope. You don't see nothing. Uh, Eleven. You also see nothing. Oh, okay. Yikes. Yikes. Twenty-two. Uh, perception check? Yes. <coughs> no. Uh, nothing. Well, I definitely don't see so you're the only one who sees, especially since you're up high up on the on the uh, the roof still. Yeah, I'm still on the roof. And you're able to look <laughs> around and see what's going on, and you see that a lot of the people in the village all stop what they were doing, and they kind of like somewhat fall to the ground a little uh -huh. bit. Um, Is it starting to flake off of them? And you start seeing it flaking off most of them. Yes. Um, there are other ones that are not <clears throat> flaking. They are. But they look as though they are having a very difficult time moving. Mm -hmm. Like they, like uh, Tin Man, right? So he doesn't have the oil. Right. And so he's like slowly freezing up until they stay still completely. Okay, so that they're like, they're, it's done for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I just tell them what I'm seeing. The curse has been stopped or undone. Like they're beacons. Mm -hmm. Just like they're beacons. Did all the other stuff come flaking off too? Like the stuff that they turned to marble? Uh, no. All of it still stays the same. Only the people are, are changing. Mm -hmm. uh, Does Starless come off the little bit she had? Nope. That all stays. What about yours? Yeah, is mine lessened at all? Is it less aggressive right now? Uh... For the moment, like it let up for a moment, and then it's still pressing forward. The the degradation of of your personal environment, you being in here, is a lot slower, just in general for everybody. But now that these things are not here anymore, the broadcast, as it were, is lessened. There's less energy here now from my tattoo tree. Mm -hmm. All right, what do you guys want to do? Well, we want to, like, tell these people to go back. Yeah. Okay. So slowly but surely, they all start coming more and more to um, reality. Uh, it's kind of sad because you see that there were children in the town, and all of them are completely stone. Just because they had such small bodies, they didn't have enough to, to hold back the, the infection. Um, on that note... Everybody roll your infection dice. D12. D12 uh, 12 for my larger people and uh, D10 for my lower people. Four. Low numbers is what you want to do. Oh, no. Don't say that. Aren't you large now? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, large. Yeah, you're large. So Does now, right? <coughs> yep. Start like a D20. You get it? No, you get a, a 12. I got large. a two. Good. One. Good. I got a six. Ooh. Four. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, it's six, and you're a large, so you're doing it against a 12. Okay, so yeah, you're fine then. Okay. Six. Okay, and you're also large at the moment. Okay, so you're fine. What'd you get? Four. Okay. Minus 12. Uh, you started to feel something, like you're starting to lock up slightly. Mm -hmm. uh, but just kind of brush it off? Yeah, it's, it, it must have been just the, the petrification. Just, yeah. yeah. So but wasn't if anybody was the the table, was uh, may have seen yeah. your abs look just a little bit more chiseled than they normally do, but that's just because you're you're a rock star. That's why. Yeah. You're cheating. That's no steroids. Reason. Doesn't <laughs> you guys are juicing, both of you. That explains the rage. Oh, not you. You too. <laughs> hey, you know. Oh, yeah, you all right. So with that, we're going to go ahead and stop at this point. Um, you're, you're rounding up all the people who are still... Coherent and able to be saved, and you start. We're gonna take a little nap in the house. Yeah, a little short rest, Steve. A little short rest. I want to use my pro power. Remember, you're only about a mile away from the border. If you wanted to rest <coughs> in a place that's not where we infected. Can't, yeah. Yeah, you want to go back and you want to pull up your little house? Yeah, I can just pull up a real fancy house now if I need to. Do. But yeah. the area is still cursed, or no? Yeah, we'll be in a different dimension. That's true. So we could just go in the house and go into his inside his house. Nice. house inside well, what house. spell is that one? Is that just a spell or is it a is it your? Oh uh, no, I have the mansion now. Oh, he finally yeah. got it to me. Nice. All right, you can do it then. You can stay here. You can go back. Which one do you guys want to do? Up to you guys. I, mean, we're gonna I want to mansion, see the so. the mansion. <laughs> right now, let's go in the house. All right, go to the center of town then. Um, is it just a door or is it an actual mansion that shows up? No, it's a door and then it, you can like make it the door not be there. Gotcha. Alright, so the you're gonna only visible if you've been invited in. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Which was funny because uh Calcifer was able to see the door. A long time ago. Yeah. He actually knocked on the door. When we were Yeah, but he couldn't get in. Traveling with um, chain. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Where I learned the spell. There's one rule for this mansion. There's a lot of rules actually. You'll see a list when you walk in. <laughs> the number one rule is if somebody knocks on the door, touches the door, you hear the door jiggling, do not open it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Go. You Don't are not touch. allowed to open the door. Can we ask who's there? No. You can, no. but you can't let anybody in. Ask awesome the password. <laughs> I'll change it every five days. Well, and not tell I, anybody. <laughs> I can guess pretty easy the password are. Yeah. Tits, Tracy, fuck no, you. It's actually none of those. I don't know. I'm impressed. So what would the password be then? I'm telling you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just wanted, to, just wanted to check. That was just a test. <laughs> no little guy saw me. Well done. Well done. You pass. Yeah, there we go. All right, so with that, we'll go ahead and stop for this evening. And we'll pick up again uh, when our uh, paladin will be back in his real live form and do a much better job playing his character than I do. Um, until then, we'll see you guys next week. Have a great one.